then. Oh, fuck that, dude. Hell no. There we go, we got light. <laughs> Oh, I'm so dumb. Oh, fuck. Oh, hi there. Where are you going? Fucking bitch, I knew something was gonna happen. I fucking knew it. Oh. Uh. Alright, so that's not fucking creepy. I'm just gonna keep going. Can I get that through here? Okay, I can. Helsing game. Ah. Oh god! <laughs> oh, did not think you were gonna be a move. Jesus. No problem, I realized I was following you everywhere but here. Oh, really? Wow. Well, appreciate you. That's very nice. Alright, so we have four different heads to try on, apparently. I don't know which one I'm supposed to use. <laughs> Fuck shit! Why? This isn't going to work. Not heavy enough. Fucking throw a chair at it. Fucking uh. Oh shit! Fucking god damn it! Music. Oh, what's that? My little guy, I can get you out of there. I gotta find the key though. <clears throat> Maybe it's in that thing's head. I just smash it. Oh fuck! Wow, I wasn't expecting. There we go. Sure wouldn't be upset if there was a diving game injected with Lovecraftian horrors too. Well, I mean, there's the crack in here apparently. Where's are those other coins somewhere? Where is it? I just saw another coin. Don't you fuck with me. Oh, it's a big ass eel over there. Oh, fuck! Hey! I know that guy! <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. Let's go! <laughs> fuck! Close this fucking door. Fuck. Someone's walking around in there. Oh. <coughs> that fucking hurt my throat. <coughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Not nice. At least that's what it sounds like.
which means the trainers probably didn't do a very good job being like, yeah, no, no worries. We could still, you know, do this. That's fine. No. You should know that you can't fix them at that point. Oh, fuck! That's all I'm getting out of it. Ooh. Fuck. Fuck, I can't go that way. Oh my god. Fuck, 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 There's gotta be something around here then. Oh! Okay, I didn't see this before. My bad. I swear to fuck, if you assholes start moving on me. <laughs> Shit. Dude, why? Why? By a copperhead, heavy. And I, I and I had to, heavy, I, when she got bit by that copperhead, I had to leave my Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. I had to oh, leave no. my Yu-Gi-Oh so I could rush her to the hospital, but it was too late, heavy. She, she, How done, many, she did die. She done did die. How many pots of greed didn't get played because your sister died? Oh, my whole deck is pot of greed. <laughs> <laughs> they say that's illegal. They say you can't have that for a tournament. I show them a different deck, and then right at the last minute, I swap them out for my pot of greed deck. The last time I showed some of my deck, I got yelled at. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, they'll do that, too. You, they'll yell at you you show them a deck full of pot of greed. That's why you got to hide it from them, because you, you show them one pot of greed, and they're like, all right, that's you're one of them. And then you, you play it, you show a second pot of greed. They're like, okay, I think you can only have one of those. Then you show them 30 <laughs> pots of greed. And they're like, you don't have a single monster in this deck or a spell or a trap. I'm like, I don't know what none of that is. I got a pot of greed. And it's pot of greed always wins. Two shots. Don't miss. Oh, fuck me, dude. Holy. Come get me. Oh, boy. God, they're fucking everywhere. All right, booty. Bit too many in that one. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Welcome in. Happy Monday. <laughs> Luna feels old now. Luna, we're all old, but on the inside, we're still young. Uh, hope you're all doing well. Hope your Monday wasn't super Monday-ish. It was actually decent. Mine was uh, pretty good. No complaints, really. Um, <clears throat> had the in-laws over for dinner, and it went well, so all things good. And now, finally, get to play this fucking game. Killer Frequency. Uh... I was very excited when this game got dropped because I loved the concept of it. It immediately thought of the movie Pontypool, uh, but that's more of like a, a zombie apocalypse realm where this is uh, killer frequency is a serial killer. But 
ultimately uh, a similar point of view, I guess you could say. Just got back from bowling, so my day is complete. Oh, nice. Bowling is always fun. Are you in a league, Scaredy? Or just going out to have fun? Um, what are you doing, phone? Just charge. <laughs> I really need a new phone. It's It's been, God, f four plus years, I think, now. Practicing for Fall League. Ooh, very nice. I never really got super good at bowling. Um, I feel like I'd be a good, like... Whatever is a step above beginner, I guess I'd say I intermediate. I guess that's where I would be as a as a player. I'm not. I don't play nearly as much as I used to. Holy shit! Yo, this song's fucking sending me way back. <laughs> All I did was hit play on this. Well, I hit shuffle on this playlist and just hit the screen. Oh my god. Wait, Fry, does does Candlepin does Candlepin exist outside of New England? I thought that was a New England thing. I love your room vibe. Thank you. Um it's kind of just like a weird mess of like work stuff you can't see. Alcohol, marijuana, VR, uh music stuff. Um more music stuff random shit actually that's more music stuff that's my uh my new vinyl player because the little briefcase thing and then the closet is all my beer stuff like brewing beer stuff not drinking beer stuff yeah so scaredy i'll uh let me let me explain this is important i think this is a good lesson to teach anyone outside of new england let me see if I can find... Uh... Okay, perfect. Follow me over here. So, The Simpsons has a great episode that involves Candlepin. Highly recommend. I didn't even know that. So, you'll see here... The the pins are like... Again, more like candles. Like candlesticks. Not really uh, the big, like, bulbous... Well, not necessarily bulbous, but, you know... Kind of thick at the bottom, if you will. The duck pin or the ten pin. I've never heard of duck pin. What the hell is that? There's three different types of bowling? Damn. That's wild. Um, I want to see pins like those in toy sets. <laughs> yes. Precisely. Which is why, like, this picture is perfect right here. It's going to be Wikipedia, which is hysterical now. I just want to look at the goddamn picture. Okay. So, I don't know what duck pin is. That's something different to me. I've never heard of that before. So, But everyone I feel like, that's when they say, hey, I went bowling, you're usually 10 pin. Like, that's pretty straightforward. Um, however, in candle pin, which we, also, we have here in at least Massachusetts. I think I've seen it in Rhode Island, so I'm assuming it's a New England thing may not be uh it's the same thing it's this much smaller ball in comparison and there's no holes so you just grip the fucking thing and roll it down um normally when you're a kid you learn how to bowl playing candle pin because it's a it's not a big heavy ball it's not gonna fucking shatter your wrist if you don't know what the fuck you're doing with it um that usually this bumpers up on the side and sometimes which you guys do in 10 pin i'm sure for kids am i intermediate a candle pin or regular uh, I'm intermediate, I'd say at 10 pin. At candle pin, I'm god awful. God awful. I'm so bad. <laughs> I, I can't I can't control it. Like 10 pin, like I can, can control the curve. So like I kind of know where I need to throw it, depending on how much of like a wrist flick I'm giving it. Um But yeah, I can't really do that with I can't even figure it out with candle pin. I don't do it enough anyways. Um but I went recently uh, with some family, and uh, I'm trying to think. I mean, I was towards the. I was. E I either won or came in second place in both games that we played, but like, 
I played with children. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'd watch The Simpsons, though. You'll die of laughter. Okay, fair enough. Uh, but yeah, I just I needed to show you that. Now that I know the duck pin is the thing, that's crazy. What song is this? What the fuck? <laughs> exactly, Luna. <laughs> Meg, what's up? Yo, this song is a fucking bop. Was it, it, was this Night at the Roxbury? Was it in there? I mean, it could have been, but it also sounds like it's from that time, too. Also, that movie, fucking hilarious. And, of course, like, the Saturday Night Live skit. Sounds like it could have been, okay. <laughs> Bye, Lan! Ooh. Si, senor. Wow. This is like... Imagine the girl from Aqua... I'm a Barbie girl, but uh, Latina. Bright pink hair or bright blue hair. Bright. <laughs> it is a vibe. I wonder. Uh, I don't know if I see it in any particular movies or anything, but I feel like it could have totally, like in another world, been there. It's fucking Bob. All right. Um, I got wheels. I got a wheel spin to do at least one. We'll see what happens. I'm going to plan on one. God damn it. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's the night, bitch. <laughs> Thank you, Luda. Oops, I sneeze. Oops, I sneeze. <laughs> Oh, also, so I don't know how true this is, uh, but I've heard that, so Killer Frequency, um, all the music was, like, originally made for the game, and apparently a lot of the songs kick ass, from what I've heard. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, am I reading that correctly? You have 33 to do? That's So it's 33 subs, um, so there's 11 spins in total. I know, that's... There's no, like, I wish there was a way I could just make it so, like, there's just a... You know, here's how many wheels you got to go. Let's go! Hell yeah, what's up, dude? Welcome in. Better go on it, slacker. Excuse me, Megan. That number was nearly 60 two weeks ago. God damn it. <laughs> Hell yeah, how you doing today, dude? How's everything going? I know you've been really busy. Oh my shit. <laughs> I right, keyboard cat. Go, 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 go. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> do good, bro. Try to be here when I can. Yeah, yeah, you know what, man? Life's a fucking crazy ride, and there's just a lot of different seats, you know? I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyways. Life fucking comes at you faster. You got shit to do. You got shit to do. You know, like you're gonna you're gonna worry about that type of stuff, man. If you're here, it just makes my day better. So that's all I'm trying to say. Ziggy, ziggy. <laughs> so, uh, this is the verde sauce. Oh, wrong way. Sorry. There it is. The Gonzo verde, if you will. <clears throat> 
Sereno chilies, tomatillos, yellow seven pot chilies, roasted onion, garlic, cilantro, vinegar, fresh lime juice, and spices. And it's rated hot. Two out of three. Not the hottest of hot, but also not very hot. Ah! Yes, Soma's here. <laughs> Welcome in, Soma. <laughs> Oh, well, la, la, la. I always completely downplay the Verde. Like, the Verde is hot. It's just very, it tastes good. I was going to say, dude, of all people, you definitely would remember. You would remember that. Yeah, the, uh, so for those not, know, I guess I'll explain. Um, so back when I was in college, I was actually for for two years. I was part of an internet an internet radio station. They called it Witwire. It was Wentworth's Wentworth's Internet Radio Experience W I R E, and uh, I had a show on. Uh, I usually had um, two shows a week. I was doing. Um, it was like a Monday night and like a Thursday night or something like that. Or maybe it's Monday and Wednesday. Regardless, Monday was two hours and the other one was one hour. And I ended up getting a co-host who I gave him the second show to he completely booked it. And like he showed me bands I'd never heard of. Like he showed me Dillinger Escape Plan, like a ton of shit that he got me into. Uh, and the other way around, too. Uh, but more so. in oh, my God. Really? <laughs> Yo, this is just the radio station on. <laughs> um, this has got to be what you played all the time. <laughs> it, it was not. <laughs> yeah, a lot. Yeah, Battlecross. Uh, Battlecross came at the. No, I don't think I played Battlecross. I don't think I found them yet. Yeah, cause I didn't find Battlecross until I was working at the bank. But no, I played a I played a bunch of like you know metal, occasional hardcore punk. Um, but yeah, it was called the Metallic Underground, and I was known as DJ Big T, and my co-host was um, he was the cowboy from hell. <laughs> I was in fifth grade when this came out. Yeah, for me, I had to have been either third or fourth. That tracks. Big T. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh, quick cheers to everybody while my lips are on fire. Ooh. Uh -uh. Oh, all right. Do I do another spin? No spin twelve. Ay ay ay. What is this garbage Discord? Get out of here. Fucking yelling at me about something. Anyways, um, that brings us down to a count of thirty subs to trade in for. Um. See what time is it? Uh, it's already 9.30. It's past 9.30. I would have done a second one, but let's see how I feel around 10.30, 11 o'clock. Uh, all right. If you're all ready. Um, oh, I didn't mention the schedule. All right. So anyways, we're doing Killer Frequency tonight. You know that. Um, we'll be playing it again on Saturday if we don't finish it tonight. Um... And I say Saturday because Thursday uh, drops the new AEW uh, Fight Forever video game. For fuck's sake, Soma. <laughs> jump scares me with my own jump scare. Um, lost my trend of thought. 
Oh, so the AEW video game, uh, it comes out on Thursday. Uh, I somehow was approved of a key. So I got it uh, Thursday of this past week. And uh, I played a bit on thir- on Friday. I played a bit on Friday. And uh, it's, it's pretty fun. It's pretty arcadey. So it reminds me of the old wrestling games versus like the 2K series that was more of a um realism and simulator type wrestling video game have you watched anything on tree ping too not my usual genre to play but it actually looks really good yeah it looks um lord oodaloo sent me uh their steam page two nights ago i think maybe even last night uh but yeah it looks like a like a bullet hell type game or like it looks like doom but obviously reskinned in different stories and whatnot obviously a different game but it just has that same feel. Um, so it's a game I'll probably end up playing. Whether I play it on stream or not, I don't really know. Cause I get really I get really aggressive at like shooter games. I don't like to lose shooter games. <laughs> so I I take it I take it in stride sometimes. Um But uh yeah, it does look it rage me too. <laughs> yes. Oh god. This had to have been third grade when this song came out. Cuz I was definitely living in Plymouth at the time. So it was at least third grade. Big Willie style. <laughs> yes. I was a kid hearing that. I'm just like Big Willie. <laughs> you had this CD, let's go. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, holy shit. All right. What was everybody's, what's the first CD that you, you owned, whether that's you bought it or someone gifted it to you, something like that. Um, my first CD that was given to me was my dad gave me his copy of the double disc set of, um, Melancholy and the Infinite and Sadness albums from uh, Smashing Pumpkins. But uh, the first CD that I purchased was the Space Jam soundtrack. Because, let's be honest, Space Jam, when that movie dropped, whew, oh. the Judd's Collector's Edition, shame. <laughs> There's no shame here. If you listen to music, you're you're good in my book because like music is really fucking cool no doubt tragic kingdom and cradle of filth cruelty and the beast let's go soma that explains everything <laughs> that is your that is your personality in two bands shoved together i love it <laughs> oh my god literally my personality <laughs> Some of my earliest CDs were Spice Girls and BSV, but I can't remember the first. That's that's fair. Um, my sister's first album was the first Backstreet Boys CD. She was obsessed with them. She liked NSYNC as well, but she was definitely bigger on Backstreet Boys. That was that was the main squeeze. Oh, <coughs> Jesus! Oh. Sorry. Tree says Judas Priest screaming for vengeance. Bro, that's what's up. Ancient Bog Witch, but make it fabulous. <laughs> yes. True that. Yours was in sync, Luna. Awesome. Loved Aqua. Who doesn't like Barbie Girl? Oh, yeah, that song's amazing. Let's be honest. My cousin had that CD. I, really, I remember she put it on her little boombox in her room one day. And, like, I think it was in the other room playing, like, Tony Hawk Pro Skater or something. And, with uh, my cousin, my other cousin, who actually streams on here, shout out to Shipwrecked. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that was. Uh, I'm listening like the other songs. I'm just like, hmm, the Barbie Girl song is the best song on this album. Damn it! <laughs> so I'm like, the rest of the album is probably so much better. And I was like, damn, I think this is the best song though. That CD was a whole bop. Yeah, I would definitely say it's a good album. I just. 
I think personally, I think the Barbie Girl song just slapped a little bit extra. I don't know why. I think it's because the Ken voice is just fucking hilarious. Oh no 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 no! I see. All right, I'm sorry. This is not the Bon Jovi song I would have picked for this. I'm just gonna do this. Sorry, I have to. What's next? Oh fuck. Okay. This is that we're, we're gonna switch you over to the game because I want to listen to this song later. This song is fucking awesome, but we're gonna go play this game because I can sit here and listen to the entire fucking song. Anywho, so we're gonna play Killer Frequency today. Uh, I'm excited, and it looks like we work for KFAM18916. That's quite the. I wonder if that's is it like AM or something? <laughs> Anywho, um. Let's start it up. Jesus, hold the fucking phone. Can I change the... Uh, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. I'm surprised it wasn't in gameplay. It's not going to display. Maybe it's control options. Ah, there it is. Whoop. Let's turn that down a wee bit. Alright, that's much better. Move with WASD, move camera with mouse. Great, awesome. We're going pick up objects, pick it up. I got a bottle. It's got some piss in it. You can hold two objects, swap objects between hands with this. So F is drop objects, R is throw objects, hold to place object, release when in a valid location. Oh, oh I. I think you can hold two objects. Like, okay, one for each hand. I'm like, where's the buttons to hold the left hand? Like, pff, did not know where that was going. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna just drop it. And we'll uh, even reclose it. Yeah. See? Cleaned up a bit. Hello? What did I just do? Why am I just flipping switches? God damn it. I got it. Fucking kids. Clean up your mess. Press E to begin inspecting. Hold left mouse and move mouse to rotate object while inspecting. Press E to exit. Okay. Hello? Okay, fam. Okay, fam. All right, cool. Uh, I'm assuming this isn't where I go to work. No, nope. okay. <clears throat> Free elevator only. Build to crouch. Is it a button? No. Free coffee. Yep, that's what's up. I have crouched. Hooray me. Oh, God. It's got the layers of fear doors. Oh, no. <laughs> I noticed there's another lock for that. That's great. Oh, look at that. It is almost 11. It's, yeah, it's pretty much 11 at night. We're going to have a great shift. What the fuck just happened? Hello? What's going on here? Whoa, whoa, whoa what was that? Why is my mug hovering? What the fuck? Holy <laughs> fuck! Okay, it's fine. God damn it. 
You hear something from, from the way? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling, or I don't know, how? Forrest, is this a joke? No, I. <laughs> I was not ready for that. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats. You know, four cats. legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. <laughs> I know what a cat is, but I mean. Does Gallows Creek have a stray cat problem or something? <laughs> Not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously, do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. <laughs> but if you're sure you don't want to... Do I need to turn on how to use the DJ desk? I mean, I could probably figure it out myself, but... In the sake of the fact this is a horror game and I'm probably gonna get stressed out, I just want to know how to do it. So I think we're gonna follow it. All right, fine. Let's get through this. All righty, this is your captain speaking. Really? <laughs> Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. Let's start with record playing. <sighs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Easy. The hangups featuring the 1984 hit, Let Me Go. And we got uh, the word, smooth. Uh, uh, Forrest, you need to grab a record Shut the fuck up, I'm reading. Table. I'm gonna stick one of these up your ass. Stab in the twilight. Knife and easy. Yikes, the late night lurkers. David Scopo, the flow. The Nazis. record box is on the left, yeah. and the record player is on the right. I'm, I'm Pick a record and stick it on the turntable. We're listening to then the flow. Got it. Great. Now turn it off. No. All right. Up next, phone line buttons. Calm down, Here, woman. Captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. All right, Peggy. Ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. You get it? Yeah, it's a riot. Great, and button two works just the same. So, let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. Press Stop it saying the Peggy the button. Show. Lord Udaloo's gonna the, show up. Peggy mute button. They haven't invented it yet. Now come on, the Peggy button is the third one on the <clears> phone <throat> line. I labeled it for you. So I see. <sighs> Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? Oh my god. <laughs> Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. I'm sorry, what? The sound... Sound blaster. Front of the desk to the right. Oh, it's got the red light on it. This thing? There we go. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Just the volume sliders left. These should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. All right. Seems to be all working. We done? Captain? <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing. Local time? Ah, should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. Uh. Now, let's get the show started. After your introduction, our first segment is Guess That Scream. I thought that was a joke. Nope, yeah. and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Okay, you're live in three, two... 189.16. It's midnight. Good evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Before we start <laughs> taking your calls tonight on midnight Gallows special, Creek's hell yeah. only late night phone in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm gonna play you a scream, 
then you call and guess, guess that, that scream. scream. We need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or My God. discover the corpse of a loved one? That's good. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Peggy, what do you mean, play the tape? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. Forrest, you do have the tape right. You knew we were doing this tonight. Fuck, Peggy. Let's be real. <laughs> Guess that scream is a terrible idea. No, I, I don't have the tape. It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. Oh my god. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest. And you're the one at the mic, so... <laughs> Are you serious? Really? Peggy, you want you want me to scream. You know this show depends on my golden voice, right? Come on, Forrest, just do it. That's enough dead air already. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Oh God. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. The perturbed Yeti. The falling from cliff or the drowning? Oh, let's do the falling from cliff. <laughs> well, folks, there you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. Fried dough? Just call in at 555-239-KFAM. KFAM. Now... Here's some music while you get dialing. Should I introduce the song? Some response have a time limit, but it might be better to not respond in some situations. Okay. I'm just gonna say no. Oh god, Forrest! That was amazing! <laughs> Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? <laughs> Lighten up, Forrest. That's gonna be the highlight of my week. Oh, Forrest, there's a call coming in. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Welcome to 189.6. Straight in the middle of the song like that? Fuck. Caller. You're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest. Thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Sure you are. You calling to guess that scream? Slow night? Shouldn't you be working? Yeah, this slow night. That's fucking funny. Well, Leslie, I guess it must be a slow night for crime if you've got time to call in. What can we do for you? Slow night? Forrest, I found a body. I need help. Forrest, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not gonna be happy if this is a prank. Why are they I calling don't do us? Prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Call the cops. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. You should call the sheriff. Leslie, if you're telling the truth, you should report this to the sheriff. What was his name? Sheriff Andrews or whatever? I'm at the sheriff's office right now. Wait, what? Uh oh. Sheriff Matthews is dead. What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response from the department. That's uh... never happened before, so I came to the station and. I found him. <laughs> Fry. Oh, God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close and. I really don't want to say what they did to him. Oh, good. Why? I don't know. Thank you so much for the lurk. I think he tried. Appreciate you, friend. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but. Were there other officers or anyone else at the station? Well, is, is anyone else at the station? Anyone who can help you? Or, or who might be responsible? 
No, I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. God. Oh, boy. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three. <laughs> but Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. God damn Leslie, it. do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. <laughs> Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. We have I three. Tried, <laughs> but I can't call anything with local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself. Let them know what's going on and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's going to man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, I have routed all 911 calls to come in to you. I mean, I get why, but like, who else? Uh, like, there's really no other options here, because like, if you think about it on the spot, like, who really else is going to handle it? I, I guess maybe the fire department? If they even fucking have one. Jesus. We'll say why me. Because it could be the fire department. I'm a radio talk show Other districts, host, yeah. I talk to idiot people about their idiot ideas. I'm not a 911 operator. Why me? You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. You're the only person equipped for the job. Besides... There are lots of transferable skills between the two. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews, they sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? <laughs> so I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Hell, let's have some on-the-job training right now. I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's gotta be another way in. Try to break down the door, find another way into the cell, find another set of keys. We have emergency. Uh, maybe find another way in. Another set of keys? Maybe. Break down the door is not going to work. Um, well, finding another way in. One of the other. Let's find a set of, maybe the keys is easy. We'll do that first. There's got to be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only one. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Just Sheriff Matthews. Uh. We'll check the officers' desks first. Have you looked around the officers' desks? That's the first place I'd check. That was the first place I checked, too. Fuck. I couldn't find anything useful, though. Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he... You know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but... I didn't really look up close. One second. Oh, I think I might be sick. Uh -huh. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm just gonna turn you over and... Ugh. Please don't stare at me. Uh, uh. I... Oh, wait. That might be them. I, I, th I think I got the cell keys. Looks like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far, so good, I suppose. So it's Deputy Martinez, then? Forrest? can't handle this all night. I think we can handle this. I'm going to cave him if this is a prank. <laughs> I, I swear to God, Peggy, if this is some sort of joke, I'm leaving this town. 
I've never heard of anything like, like this happening in broadcast. I've never heard about anything like this either. But we're here now, Forrest, and we've just got to see what happens next. Come on, Martinez. There we go. Just gonna sit you in your office chair. We'll head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. That's the, right, that's the right thing to do, yeah. I, you're leaving? We're on our own? We've, we're already on our own here. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risk right now. Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on uh, fire? Uh, How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? It's like a Molotov. Wait. Oh, fuck. What? No, no way. This can't. Oh, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling. Whistling? It can't be. Oh, my God. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? But that mask, and how the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. But he's dead. He's... What the hell? Oh, God. Do you think... Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? I mean, that sounds he's logical. Oh, no! Stay inside and lock the doors. Right. I fucking... I, f I got scared. Forrest, come on. You need to focus. Take a police cruiser. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. I... Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any... Uh, just... Uh -huh. Reach into your pocket there, deputy, and... Yes, got him. Keys for squad car three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Ah, it's outside. Nice I one, thought maybe at a garage or something. But... Wait. How am I supposed to get us to the car? The whistling man is right there. Who would have a gun at that point? Well, Sheriff Matthews did shoot, but does Deputy Martinez even have one? The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. I... Oh, shit. It's empty. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. Are, are there any other oh, weapons no. lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Which should I take? This is rough. Pepper spray isn't going to work because he has a mask on. Or the killer has a mask on. The taser, maybe baton? I think that's too much of a swing where the taser's just... But taser, of course, is up close and personal. If this dude, uh, if this killer has like a knife, it's gonna be rough. So maybe the baton's the right choice. I don't know how strong this lady is. Fuck. Let's go with the taser. I mean, it's gotta be the taser, right? Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then. Wait. Do you hear that? No. No. I, I can't hear anything. Exactly. It's gone quiet. No more knocking. Oh, fuck. You still see him? Maybe the freak left? Be careful. 
Be careful. I don't like it. Me neither. But it's an opening, and I've got to take it. Okay. Deputy Martinez, if you can hear me, it's time to move. Just lean on me. <gasps> yep. There you go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? So, here we go. Oh, boy. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. If I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you <laughs> soon. Well, good luck. <laughs> well, bye. This is the part where the killer comes out of nowhere, isn't it? <sighs> you know, I've got to say... This really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. <laughs> well, they always say you have to Fuck. be ready for everything in live radio. Fucking tree. <laughs> oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. I'm putting the call through. Hello? Forrest? Ooh. Peggy? This is Leslie. Are you there? Over. We're here. Leslie. So I, I guess you made it to the car then. Over. Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Deputy Martinez and the my God, my heart. still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. So I'm going to get us moving. How would you not already start? God damn it, get, get back! Get away from her! The whistling! No! Get off her, you son of a bitch! Leslie, what are you waiting for? Get out of there! Don't worry, Deputy Martinez. We're Seriously, like, here. why did you contact me first? Leave first. Leslie, are you two okay? Did you get away? Or... Forrest, that taser? Definitely the right call. Oh my god, I can't believe we escaped. Let's go. Well done, Leslie. You saved a life. Just another day for you. Oh my god, yeah. But let me tell you. I prefer doing it from your side of the phone. <laughs> Leslie, how long do you think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek is a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while, maybe two, three hours each way. Scared me. <laughs> Put your foot down. You better floor it. You keep that pedal to the floor then. We'll see when you're back. You don't have to tell me twice. Anyway, once I'm in... I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. Forrest, Peggy, I've got to go. I'll be out of range soon, but I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. Take care, Leslie. Be safe out there. Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. What's going on? A shocking turn of events. Folks, you heard it here. We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We're going to get back to the show, meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. Oh, don't. We'll talk here on 189.16, The Scream. For now... Here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. No. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. This is actually oh, it's insane. Did you Yo, Allie. Welcome in. Welcome in, my friend. How oh, are you? Okay, well. Uh, Gamma Psych, hey, welcome in. Juggy you know. Jugs, baby. There's a little bit of this. He was sick last night. He wasn't at the show. Oh, By the way, did you watch? Did, throw that? did you watch Forbidden Door yet? Where did I throw that? Welcome in, Karma. Thank you, Gamma, for the follow. Welcome to the mob. Have you had Forbidden Door was so good? Yes. Um, Omega uh, Osprey too was Woo holy fuck. Karma, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the mob. Appreciate both of you. So, Allie, what were you playing today? I I saw you were on. And I think I just threw a tab up. Yeah. Kenny, incredible. I mean, yeah. It's about right. Tell me what. Oh, how is that? 
I haven't played it yet, but if it's been on my wish list for probably fucking three years at this point. Cheers to you, Allie. <clears throat> it's good. Cheers. Good, good, good. Um, so, I mean, if, if you're coming over here on the raid from Allie's and uh, for some reason you don't know about Channel 13 and haven't subscribed to them on YouTube yet, you should probably go do that. And there's a link right in the chat there for you to do so. And it's super easy. We all use YouTube, like, honestly. Most of us are probably millennials or Zoomers that are sitting in here. Most. Maybe not all, but most. <laughs> So you know what YouTube is. You know how to work it. Go hit go hit them up and subscribe to them if you haven't. If you get Tell Me Why for free this month on Steam. Oh, you can get Tell Me Why for free this month on Steam. Ooh. What is YouTube? Is it like a long-form TikTok? Yes, Frantic. Precisely. <laughs> I'm a patron. I highly recommend. Fuck yes. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, so yeah, we're playing uh, Killer Frequency. I've been so far behind on playing this. I feel like everyone has played this at this point. Um, I've avoided his, uh, all the spoilers that I knew of, or I could at least know. Uh, but I've really been enjoying it. And um, you haven't played yet? Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, so to answer both you and Karma's question, um, we're like in the first act, like something just went down. Like play, all right, play times twenty seven minutes. Like it's uh, it's kind of tense um, already. Like you kind of ha you have to answer questions and stuff, and like you know, like respond back to callers. Um, and sometimes it's like a timed thing. So you see, the, like the bar goes down really quick in the circle. She's like, oh. oh. <laughs> So uh, it has like that same anxiety feeling of like a Telltale game, um, and it, I mean honestly, it kind of looks like a Telltale game a little bit too. If you <laughs> now that I think about it, um, but uh, imagine that mix in like the world of like Puppet Combo stuff like that. I misplayed in TFT to type that stupid joke, and now I'm gonna lose karma. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Hate to rain and run, but I must go to sleep. Have a fantastic time playing this game, baby. Hey, Allie, thank you so much. Totally get it. Thank you so much again for the raid. Uh, go get some sleep. You got to go get a lot of hours. Go and relax. I'm sure you get a long day tomorrow. What the hell did I just do? I scratched myself. I'm sorry. Anyways, have a lovely evening. Catch some Zs. I'm sure I'll catch you soon. And I uh, appreciate you. So be well. Everyone, you will love jugs. I don't know about that. Not everyone. Most. Hey, it's gonna take her four hours. <laughs> this guy's gonna kill half the town in four hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know, I know, I just... <sighs> Who is this Whistling Man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Mooney. Went around in a... So this is our producer, by the way. And killed about a dozen folks in... Yo, the real world. gamer, what's up? Welcome in. No reason for it. No motive. That's legitness. <laughs> What's up, Drill Dozer? Okay, what happened to him? And he's come back tonight? So we're screwed? Yo, Drill Dozer, thank you so much for the fall. Welcome to the mob. So we're screwed? Because it sounds like we're screwed. Well, probably not. Please chase Hit him with a freaking follow. <laughs> we call it Whistling Point now. Thank you. Appreciate this, you. Well, it was on this night, actually. The police cornered him. <laughs> so is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's so he's story? never confirmed dead? Is, he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right. Here we are. Story. What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Guess we'll find out what we're dealing with. Whether we like it or not. I guess so. <sighs> at least we got the word out, I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight? Could be around 35? 35? Isn't 3,500? Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 people. <laughs> at best.
35 at best? 35 at best. 35, yeah. It's a school night. <laughs> and what's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? Oh. How oh. many did you get before? You know. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? <laughs> yeah. Before <laughs> that. Around five for most shows on the low end? Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on the low end? We could only dream of that. Five million. Million? Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet. I guess. Yet. Yeah, I guess we're gonna learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. Take it when you're ready. Yeah, great. Time to turn the music off. Oh, right. Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. The Scream. Is everything, uh, all right? <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? He's not whistling, at least. Okay, what's your name and why are you calling in? <laughs> Unconvincing whistling. Udu calling again. <laughs> no, my name. I've come back from the dead to kill again. No one's safe. What is that other noise? Why is Batman whistling at us? <laughs> Do you accept requests? Do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituary. <laughs> Maybe you must make a sacrifice to us. A sacrifice? To us? I, I mean... Grandpa, go to bed. We want cheese dusted pretzels. I mean, I want cheese dusted pretzels. Or I'll cut your face off. Goddamn kids. I'm cutting them off. Yeah, cut him off. <laughs> we also want a mega call. For Ted Logan doing his best him, Batman impression. We do in fact, have an actual killer out in the streets tonight. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. Ooh. Yep. Time to go on the journey that is. Blast Processor with their hit song, 1980X. Peggy, what the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? Ugh, oh, kids around here. They pull pranks Luna. pretending to be him. <laughs> By pretending to be this whistling man character? They think it's funny, but it's not. It's not funny at all. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... No, that... that's real. Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. Of course. Let's do this. I can never get through a whole fucking song. Ridiculous. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me. Music is banger. Forrest Nash. What? I, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's your name and what's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? Oh, God. Listen, you've got to help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run, and now some psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me, knife in hand. How do I fucking throw this? It's actually happening. 
fun. I got, uh, where are you now? A jazz run? Bad night to go out for a run. Where are you now? Where are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. I jazz ran all the way to my car and nothing flat. But I dropped my keys somewhere along the way. I never locked the door at least. I've got a place to hide, but... Come on! Can you go back and find your keys? Because lots I think you'll be fine. Is there anywhere else you can go? Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I... Fuck. Oh, shoot. Oh, he's back. Oh. Look, I don't know anything about cars. But I gotta start this engine without the keys. And you're gonna have to that help one. me. Wait, 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 I don't. Listening to 189.16, The Scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash, your yeah. friendly neighborhood radio host. Rhythm Mechanic. is a dancer. Savior. Sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something? Timberline Twins Talk Motors. Yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Really? Like oh, I got this down know, now. But they're not even related. It's weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. I'm anyway, so good at this. This gotta be a fucking the achievement. Are out the door and down the hall. I'm sorry. You want me to leave? Oh, fuck. Okay. Where am I going? It will help Sandra start her car without the keys. What the fuck? Anyone got a fucking joint in here for that? At least, at least the music is good. With some beer. <laughs> I'm not getting in there tonight. <laughs> Fucking all right, hey. Wolfman's you motherfucker. Damn. Someone's fucking dealing with some demons right now. Scream. Jesus. So few keys. Oh, this is a little office area? Okay. Oh! Who <laughs> subsidized my new underwear? <laughs> I don't know what that is. You can pick up a lot of shit in this game that doesn't matter. The creepy hour. Craft and work. Uh, well, nothing to do with starting a car without a key. Like, how do you start a car without a key? I don't know. Where I'm here, don't do this to me. <laughs> Free sample of garlic bread, let's go. Jesus, anonymous fuckwad. 
Hey, the garlic bread. Much like your show, it was mediocre. The deal is worth checking out, though. John. <laughs> Shelly cook off champ in 84. Oh, God. Grilling spree ad. Oh, boy. I didn't want to read that. Fuck. All right. Um. Without a key. No, not helpful. This has to be important. Twins, I've borrowed your car theft magazine. Those huevos rancheros aren't sitting right. Gonna need something to read. Pray for me. <laughs> Yo, huevos rancheros are fucking delicious. How dare. So that magazine in the bathroom I saw was the one that we needed the whole fucking time. God damn it. Who's in the far one here? More so doesn't matter. This looks useful. Let's do it. Uh, this is, okay, doesn't seem to bring it anywhere in particular. Can we guys uh, close the door, please. Thanks. Let's lock that. Place items in the tray to hold them while on calls. In the tray. I'm, I'm sorry. The tray? Uh. Like that? I guess so. You find anything? Yeah. I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Well, that sounds perfect. Okay, Forrest. Oh my god, it says off. Trey. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? <gasps> the creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. How do we start this baby? Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Unscrew the steering column. Hit the steering wheel with the hammer. Key, uh, it's a keyless entry techniques. How do I... Lock yourself out again. We'll get you moving quickly. How do I... Oh, oh, I have to... um Do this and that. No. E? Okay. So step one, use screwdriver. Okay, uh... Yes. Oh, fuck yeah, that's so good. Okay, use a screwdriver as a key if that fails. Step to remove the steering. Okay. So, ignition twist clockwise. Yes, we'll do that first. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. I. I. Oh, screwdriver's too fat to fit. So yeah, I have what that problem it? too. Uh, unscrew the steering column. Step two. Unscrew the steering column. All right. Just turn. Just turn. One, two, one, two. Just turn. Just turn. Oh, God. I want these screws. Okay. Covers off. Okay. Check the serial number, then strip and twist the falling wires together. Oh, God. My heart is pumping. You're doing great. Know exactly what you see. Do your jazz breathing, don't panic. Do your jazz breathing, don't panic. Okay, we can do this. There's a red wire, a blue wire, a yellow wire, a, a green wire, and a brown wire. Remember on the steering column, sort the blue and red wires. Okay, so we have to get the, uh, we have to get the serial number first. What's for the sure. serial number on the steering column? The number is 576894. 
320. I already forgot it. Oh. Uh -hoo. Okay, so if there's a four before a three and no seven, is there a four before a three and no seven? No, there's a seven. Okay. If there is a six anywhere and doesn't start with a five. Well, it starts with a five, so that's a no. If there's a zero at the end and the three doesn't come before... All right, if there's a zero at the end, yep. And a three doesn't come before a six. A three comes after a six, that's okay. Red and yellow. Boom. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right. We take the red and the yellow and we twist and we turn. Strip the purple wire. Do not touch this live wire. Okay. And it says to do what here with it? Strip the purple wire. Brush the purple wire against the twisted wires from step three. Yeah, this bottom one. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. Okay. Keep driving. Just keep driving now, okay? And get home safe. Get home Woo! safe, Sandra. Will do, babies. Thanks, Sandra. We did it, Forrest. Keep talking sure and nobody did. dies. Here comes another hit track <laughs> that we're ja excited to share with you. And remember, if you're also having car troubles, then tune in to... Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, Monday to Friday at 5. Take it away, Forrest. I still can't believe this is happening. <sighs> right? My Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about. What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable Doing pretty good so far, Luna, huh? Really? Miserable? It's nothing personal, Peggy. But it's not Chicago, or hell, it's not really anywhere. Well, I like it here. People are polite and, uh... Except for that one guy. Ass backwards. Don't be awful, Forrest. Come on, there must be something you like about this place. You don't notice this stink after a while? Wow. I guess some folks have been okay. You're not terrible, after a while. Not terrible after a while? High praise coming from Forrest Nash. You know what I mean, Peggy. Peggy's gonna be I doing do. some Peggy at it's the end Forrest of this game. Nash for I think you're swell. Anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night. And that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. Can we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now? Rude. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. As long as nobody plays Scream Sound, I'll be fine. Oh, God, Luna, don't say these things. <laughs> that was 42 minutes. Caller on line one. When you're ready, shut oh, the music right. off. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty. Ponty's pizza, Ponty's like, like pizza. Ponty pool. Oh boy! Hello, Brian. Hello, Brian Ponty. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's pizza. Hello, Brian. I threw my Ponty phone twice. Of Ponty's pizza. <laughs> what have you got to say about what's happening? I'm so happy that that deputy Martinez survived. I've seen her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Ponty pizza. Ponty's Ponty's pizza. Oh, you did a really great job. Oh, and, great. Uh, as a thanks for all you did. I just wanted to tell you that I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza here at Ponty's Pizza. Wow, Brian. That's really good of you. But you really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck because we're always running great deals. 
Oh boy. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Poor choice of words tonight, I guess. Uh. <laughs> don't worry about hey, it. Don't worry about it. It's all right. Oh, <laughs> I'm so German. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone. Sounds kind of Scottish, actually. On down to Porty's Pizza. We've got a great special this week. Great. Our famous beer and pizza deal. Wait a minute. Come on down to Porty's Pizza <laughs> this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it! You're just calling in to advertise your shop. Bro, for Peggy, hang up on him. Done. Oh, real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Now, a word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? Do I know how to play a cassette? There's gonna be people that answer no. Fuck, I'm old. Sure. Done. Do you seek ancient wisdom? Do you want to double your power? Are you ready to unlock your inner warrior for only $24.99? Then step into Master Robbie's deadly dojo of Kung Rate. Oh my god. You think about cassettes today? Sounds like Sean Connery doing his best American accent. Ah, oh, hot shingles, you say. The power of the alligator. The discipline of the tarantula. The speed of the tuna. The speed of the tuna. The scorpion. And the wisdom of the bullfrog. <laughs> classified techniques. I'll unlock your inner chi after only five 30 minute video sessions. Ultimate power. Two and a half hours. Be yours now for the low, low price of only $24.99. Just call 555-7861-USA to take your first step to becoming a champion. You think darkness is a rally? I wish for a minute. God. If you buy today, you'll receive two additional VHS tapes. The <laughs> VHS tapes. And karate love me. Call today. Oh. Excuse me, Miss Master Robbie. What was that? Do people really buy this kind of thing? Don't pretend like you're not interested. I mean, I wouldn't buy them, but I might watch them, I guess. Yeah, I bet karate lovemaking sure is something. Uh, I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> is Forrest Nash at a loss for words? Hey, let's just get to the show. Wow, what a deal. Only $24.99. And I'm not just saying that because they're paying for the airtime. But unless they pay uh, off uh, more, uh, then it's time to get the show moving along with our next caller. Uh, I was going to take another shot, though. Let's take another shot. Oh, right. Hold on. I can make it. So we have a call hit. waiting. Yeah, hold up. I got it. You understand. I need to hit the shot. Kobe. All right. Welcome to the scream with me. Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. Yo, Maurice. Honest, this guy just broke in downstairs and... Wait. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? Leslie's driving to Henderson right now. She left me in charge. Why on earth is Leslie... Oh, never mind. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? I can cite you as an anonymous source. Yeah, okay, Sir. while I'm on the air. <laughs> We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... All right. There's obviously a lot more going on than I know. 
Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. Hi, I'll be alert because don't want any spoils. Oh, thank you, Lady in Red. Appreciate you. Some idiot kid just broke in, dressed as the Whistling Man. <laughs> Teen. They get worse. Worse every, every year. Yeah, I feel that. Uh, this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. Rude. But I was there. I, I was there. Maurice, I don't know what's going on, but he's back. The Whistling Man is back. Don't be an ass, Nash. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. Okay. Set in the boardroom. I think you think there's... No. Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out? That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? You have his we number? Have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms with different extensions. So we call one of them. Draw the oh. killer away. And buy Maurice time and get exclusive to the killer. Okay. Buy Maurice time. That could work. Exactly. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Yeah, sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out. <sighs> you realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension, plus a plan of the entire office floor. Okay. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. Thank God I've always been cool under pressure. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Thanks, bro. You... you don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. Russell... I'm here. The freak's going to be here any second, too. Go check your facts, Mr. So good at this? Don't let me down. Like to go... okay. Oh, what's the fax machine? That was fast. How do you know our fax machine number? KFAM and the Gallows Reporter have a pretty long history. I'll go pick up that map then. Go, Forrest! The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. Okay. Go to the office on the other end of the hall. All uh, right, yeah, yeah. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. Very easy. Oh. Run, Forrest, run! This must be it. Yep. I can't sprint. It won't let me. Did you just hit the door? My crumba. Okay. So we've got the kitchen here. Extension two cubicles, office space. The he's in the boardroom. There's the fax. He's extension four. This dude blocked the stairs into the hallway. Archives. Men's room, ladies' room. Secret archives, which doesn't have a phone number or an extension. And then the editor's room, maybe I think that is. Yeah, editor's office. 
Oh, secret archives connected to editor's office. Got it. All right. Hey, did you get the fax? Yes, I have. I lost it. Yes, I have. Mr. Russell, you uh, you still with us? I am. You get my fax? You said it again. Yeah, I got <laughs> it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, folks, we're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Here's the situation. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. And now he's in the office next door. It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again. We want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number, and then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? So we call the archives, which is there, which is good, but he's gonna be here, he can still see through the door. Call the kitchen, same thing. Editor's office? Uh, it might work, because he'd be over to the left. The boardroom, well, that wouldn't fucking work at all now, Sacrifice would it? Sacrifice Morris, show Whistling Man you want to work together. <laughs> that is an option. <laughs> We're not taking it frantic. Good God. Oh, no. The editor's office actually might work. Because at least, uh, this dude can make a run for it. Call the editor's office. The extension is 03. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? Go to the kitchen, go to the archives. So he's going to go to the kitchen or the archives. Okay. Interesting. I guess the kitchen? You need sacrifice. Oh yeah, you name your kid Maurice. You're imagine him ending up in a sacrifice situation one day. No, oh my god. <laughs> Go to the kitchen. You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah, that makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Not bad, Nash. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to my office. It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Ah, uh, don't mention it. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move. I'll call when I get there. Do you think he'll make it okay? Fucking sure hope so. Oh, I did it again. We, we gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could... Oh! Call incoming. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. Good. I've gotta give you credit for that. But I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, right. Let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. I can move the furniture out of the way. But not quickly. Or quietly. You fight him, maybe play dead. That's not going to work. Can you lock him in a room? Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulation say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait. No. No, no, no. I got it. The secret archive through my office. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. <laughs> what have you got back there? 
juicy secrets about outer space? Oh, the word Peggy. Peggy, I don't think now's the time to be playing around like that. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. Kids, we're in the big time now. I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. You can't break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in... We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. Mm -hmm. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Is there a TV in there? Use yourself as bait? Use a radio? Is there a TV in that room? Maybe that could draw him in. Ah, of course. I turn it up, he comes in, and I get my head chopped off. Think of something else. <laughs> All right. Use a radio Maybe then. We could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? A sports reporter, Hopkins. He Hopkins. has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. Is it still in the office? I hope he's 189.16 the Scream fan. That might be what we need then. Is his portable radio still there? It should be. It's what he calls his work radio. Should be in the archives, actually. I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted with his search. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. We're gonna save him for Shh, quiet, Peggy. Heck, if this works, we might even save the whole town. We're close. Let's make it happen, Peggy. How can we fail? I mean, it's a plan with steps. Get the radio, plant it in the secret archives, lure the killer, and... Oh! Call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Nash, hello? Nash, are you there? I'm here. Is everything okay? I found the radio! It's right Why is he I yelling? Found. It's all coming together. I'm just gonna turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just As thunder just that, rumbles outside. The radio works! If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off. He the box. Uh, you opened it. Let's do it for God Hopkins, What's up, demonic? Wait. Welcome in. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> if I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead! You just... Oh, that's a good point. But wait! We're the radio! We can just yeah. be quiet until you're ready! If you can do that, then... Yeah, sure! I'm liking it, Demonic. This is good. I know that's your station number. But a good editor always double-checks. Can you confirm that? Hit the stinger, Peggy. Hit the stinger, Peggy. 189.16. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Oh, it's now, so good. I just need to get to my office. Like Sounds like we need to people make play it. Call it's it's really it. good so far. Where should we send the killer? Alright, we should send him to. Well, not the kitchen. Definitely not the archives. He has to go to the boardroom. Call the boardroom. The extension is 04. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? I'm sure. Make the call. Okay. Calling the boardroom now. on the move. 
I'll call you guys for my office in a second. Looks like we're almost through this. Oh nightmare. fuck. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? Oh, I guess no, it doesn't matter. Cause I was think I was thinking he had to still go to the archives to get the radio, because I'm a dummy. But like they probably would have run into him themselves or something. I'll impersonate Mr. Russell. I'll give fake advice. I'll call the killer a jackass. One person, Mr. Russell sounds pretty funny. <laughs> I just want to hear this voice act to do that dude's voice. I'm gonna do my best impersonation of Maurice. I think that'll draw the killer in. What's your Mr. Russell impression? I think I gave that mask freak to slip. What a great plan wow. this is, Pearl. Uh, I'll give you an A for effort. Ooh, call coming in. Here we go. I'm here. The radio set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal. I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I am. Uh, good question. It's under my desk, but uh, you can see under it. I've got a big cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but uh, that's where the kill is going. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Your judgment has kept me alive so far, Nash. What do you reckon? I hate all of these ideas. He said the desk, you could see it's underneath it. I don't know if the lights are on or off. Hide in your cabinet, he said it could take a second. Hide inside the secret archive. That's really fucking risky. Because I don't know what it even looks like in there. And hide among the cubicles sounds like a good idea, but that's a long way to go, and he's going to be intercepted by um, the killer who's in the boardroom. He'll come walking out and see that immediately, so definitely not the cubicles. I think inside the secret archive is definitely off the table, because that's where he's going to be going. Um, so either we hide under the desk, or hide in the cabinet. Well, no, because I mean, like... All you do is turn, if he turns the volume up, we'll just be quiet. We won't do anything. And then he'll hide in the cabinet. We'll give him plenty of time. Hiding under the desk is risky. I gotta go, yeah. Let's do hide in, hide in the cabinet. Hide in your cabinet. All right. Well, this is it. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. Hey, whistling man. Jackass. Forrest, I don't think that was enough time for him to hide. Oh, fuck. Wait, really? Oh, shit. No, let me redo it. I'm sorry. I panicked. I panicked. Forrest, he's... He's... Out of print. Out of print. <sighs> Let's put on a song. Give us some time to recover. I think that would be for the best, Peggy. I literally had the plan right in my head, too. We'll be back soon. If you have any stories about Maurice that you'd like to share, give us a call. After this next track. Well, this is going to be a long night. Oh, really? I feel like it's going pretty quickly to me. I could ask you some questions to speed things along. You're going to interview me. You sure about that? You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now. I and you're I had still the, the, all I had it right in my head and what I wanted to do, and just seeing it pop up with the timer and I I just it's the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. All right, shoot. What do you want to know? Question one. Tell me about your family. What? Come on, Peggy. That, that's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? 
Excuse no, me. Too specific. too specific? I... Do you have any siblings? I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Oh, I'm sorry, Forrest. Why did you do it? You're sorry, why? Did you do it? Of course not. I only... I'm just messing with you. Anyway. What about oh my you? god, I Any keep siblings? getting it stuck on there. Mom and Pop still around? What the f- I thought I was asking the questions. You were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. Oh. Yeah. My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck, and, well... That was dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget dad so bad. She even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day and my mom didn't Hello last there. long after he Andy, went. Andy, welcome in, friend. Don't call How me How are Peg. you? Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be... It's okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. Candy, I didn't save Maurice. I was a Any dummy. Seconds. Funny you I mentioned fucked that. Up. No. Not anymore. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Hold on. Someone just, just woke up. Lizard. Well, good morning. Really? Think someone needs our help? Maybe. You want to go check it out? No. Nope. You sure you don't want to go? No way. I'm locked up tight in here. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. I'm not saying shit. Okay. Down to the first floor, then check the door. Alright, let's do it. Wait, how do I get downstairs anyways? It's a mouse it's trap. Happening. Should grab that key Peggy slid under her door. Herp derp. Junk I didn't kill someone. I'm enjoying it. I I fucked up though. Um so the editor in the building, I had him I had everything right. I was like, alright, I'm gonna take my sweet time to make any noise so that the killer doesn't catch him on his way back out of the secret archive room. And there was a timed thing that popped up and I I saw the time going down and I got scared, so I pressed a button. And the killer got him. Ha. You killed him too? <laughs> that was roof access, good to know. It's locked though. A tape. Play me on air. Oh no. Play on air. Fuck. Not good. Not fucking good. I need a key to get in there. Oh no. Axe. Axe me again. Axe 3, final decapitation. Good job on the new job. Genie and Carrie's friendship quiz. Most likely to peak to peak Mount Everest. Hot David, Kyle, or Heather. Most likely to win the award for worst poker face. Cynthia, Scott, Chad, or Tammy. Most likely to end up in prison. Seth, Jennifer, or Lisa. Most likely to escape prison. Jennifer, Scott, Cynthia, or Seth. Most likely to become an Olympic athlete. Hot David, Heather, or Seth. PTO, please turn over. Oh, all right. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I can't. It won't let me. Hold up. Uh. Hold up. Fucking. 
Six, most likely to pass their driving test without any errors. Jimmy. <laughs> most likely to win an Oscar. Lisa, Tammy, Scott. Most likely to beat everyone at go-karting. Chad, Tammy, Hot David, and Scott. Most likely to trip while running in a horror game. Heather, Scott, Jimmy, and Seth. Most likely to end up in a car crash. Tammy, Scott, Cynthia, Jennifer. God. One of us is the killer. Kills him because of panic. Sounds like me. Yeah. <laughs> Makes two of them candy and jugs. God. Which is five wins. There's my tape. Another mouse trap. <laughs> it appears they have a rodent issue. I didn't see who it was. Are they still out there? No. They left as soon as I went down there. They pushed a cassette through the door. It says, play me on air. All right. Well, turn the music off and play it. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for lies. Time to sit there. I will punish you. I'll... I'm going to enjoy this. I did not enjoy that. Oh, boy. What the hell was that? I. Oh, Forrest. We're still on air. Say something. Folks, the... Oh. <clears throat> Folks, the tape you just heard was passed through our door only moments ago. I don't know how the killer could get from the newspaper to KFAM so quick, but... Be careful, Gallows Creek. Stay home and stay safe. She moves abstract Give just a like a shadow dancing help. on the edge like a storm cloud passing over her effortless and free as the hours rush by through her I can sense the end of time there's no way this now. can forever shine make the sun not rise in the air we tried to be but you shot your arrow through Thank me you now again. one of us Mrs. must McKenzie die but the killer the won't tip. survive. The bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. We'll remove her from the suspect list. <laughs> Let's go to a break. I need you for a second. All right, folks. We need to take a quick break. This one's for all those folks out there keeping the hatches batted. It's funky. It's groovy. It's stabbing the twilight by knife and easy. <laughs> all right, Peggy, what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. But I just put this song on. ASAP off air. All right, I've got it. Did we forget an ad or something? I don't know. It was buried in my work mail. You have bunny eye the fox. See what it says. Uh. Play me ASAP. Off air. That's Reggie's handwriting. And he wrote it in purple. And? Purple is Reggie's angry color. He only writes in purple when he's really pissed off. Purple message. All right. I'll put it on. I hope it's nothing serious. Or try your call again. <laughs> Straight to voicemail? My god. Are there any professionals at KFAM? This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you never had and probably never will again. Wow. And we've still not received any oh, information that? about when you're fitting it into your busy. Program. Yo, limp! 
What is up, limp? Welcome in, buddy. Hello, caffeinated. Welcome in, welcome in. How are you today, limp? How are things? I didn't realize you were even streaming tonight. Hello, beautiful. You're not talking to me. <laughs> Hello. Oh, we were playing a fun one. Excuse me. Today was a super random stream. Got it. Well, that's good. <clears throat> well, thank you for the uh, the rate. I appreciate you. Appreciate you all for coming in. Uh, so we're playing this game called Killer Frequency. We're basically a radio DJ, and there's a serial killer out in the loose. And we're trying to help people. I started eating an apple and talking to Coyce. Next thing I know, I hit the go live and boom. <laughs> hey, you know what? An apple a day keeps the stream doctor away or something like that, right? I'll be frank. Something. I didn't want you as part of this debut, but Mr. Snatcher, due to his prior friendship with Mr. Nash... Prior and current friendship, Gina. Forrest Nate, you all right? Don't worry about Gina. You know how she is. But yeah, can't wait to see the single man. I think final breath is my best work yet. Best work I yet. I hope you and your listeners like it. And man, if you ever find your way this side of the pond, let me know. We'll have to catch up. Damn it, Roddy. If you played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight, the next call will be much less friendly. That was Roddy Snatcher, Forrest. You know, Roddy Snatcher? Fuck. Where's his album? Big Roddy fan? We were old friends. Used to be a big deal. <laughs> yeah, Roddy and I are old friends. I love Roddy. I Will Always Find You was my song. I wish we still had it in rotation. Oh my god. I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. And I can't believe you didn't tell me he sent you his new single. We have to play Final Breath. Where is it? I don't know. They mailed it to KFAM, not to me. Then it's got to be downstairs at reception. Man, I can't believe Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well, if that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication, folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. All right. Hey, did you get it? No, not yet. Any ideas Oops. where it might I be? I saw the red light. Oh, that was important. The station? It's probably still at reception. Check around there. Thanks. All right. Down by reception. Under the boardwalk. Do 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 do. <sighs> Excuse me, my word. Woodside Apartments. From below it came. Oh, right there. This must be it. Final breath. My tiny selection grows. Wait, why am I not holding it? Maybe because it's like a quest item. I want me to lose it by accident or something. Hey, did you get it? Got it. Let's get this on the air. Gallows Creek. I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Up next, courtesy of the British sensation himself, is a track you won't hear everywhere. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. Wow. God, <laughs> wow. He is the best. He is. Jesus. And more importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. Excuse you, I was busy. <laughs> ah! And I think that's every time I've seen him live. Peggy, you just talked through the whole song. 
Oh, whoops. <laughs> it's okay. I can just play it on loop later. Oh, shoot. I just noticed we have a caller waiting. I really hope it's nothing serious. Well, I want way to find out. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. This is Murphy! <laughs> Murphy! <laughs> Hello, Murphy. Uh, what have you got for us tonight? Two things, Forrest. First, happy birthday to my son, Fernando. Fernando, Scream happy today. birthday. And man, being his daddy has changed my life. I've learned how to live. How to laugh. Most importantly, how to love. Aw, happy birthday, Fernando. Happy birthday, Fernando. Thanks. And now, my other thing. I'm putting the word out to this so called killer. Killer? You think you're tough, huh? Big man with a big knife, huh? Ruin. Come face me, a true warrior. At the gallows waste disposal plant. Why would you do that? This is a bad idea, Murphy. I got all the tapes in Master Robbie's Dojo series. So get ready, whistling man. Whistling man. The junkyard dog. The junkyard dog. Oh Rip. no. And there he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your fingers crossed for Murphy as he tries to become our hometown hero. Although, having heard that Master Robbie ad earlier, uh, well, don't get your hopes up too much. <sighs> anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial. Fuck. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man. Oh no. A devout Christian and a proud patriot. Teddy Gallows Jr. is Gallows Creek. Like his father and all his fathers before him, Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create jobs, oh, improve the fucking spare me. And make Gallows Creek a good place to raise a family. Unlike current mayor Linda Cartwright, Teddy Gallows Jr. lives in Gallows Creek. He's our neighbor. And he stands with our neighbors. Like Sheriff Matthews, who, after years of keeping the peace, Mayor Cartwright is trying to force into early retirement. Jesus. Teddy Gallows Jr. doesn't believe in keeping a good man out of a job. Teddy Gallows Jr. believes in the American dream. Does Linda Cartwright? Help Teddy Gallows Jr. keep Gallows Creek a good American town. Help him become mayor. Take a swing. For Gallows Creek, vote for Teddy Gallows Jr. My name is Teddy Gallows Jr. And I approve this message. God, what a jackass. 100% grade A asshole. Linda Cartwright isn't super herself, but she's not... Yeah, we don't have any more of those ads to air tonight, do we? No, just the one. Good. I have to ask, though. Take a swing for Gallows Creek? Uh, he set the home run record for Gallows Creek High. Uh, of course he's one of those guys. Yep, he played lots of sports back in the day, and he never lets anyone forget it. Right. Let's just get back to the show. Well, folks, hearing that reminds me that every vote matters. That ad really made Bunch me want to take Gallows. a swing at Teddy Gallows. <laughs> you mean take a swing for Teddy Gallows? Yeah, sure. Let's find out from our next caller who's got their vote. We got a caller. You know what to do. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Hello? Who is this? Are you okay? Do you need help? Wrong button. Jesus. Okay, listen, caller. Don't panic. We've done this a few times now. We can help you. A few times already? So you saved them or 
sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect name. Can I help you? Can you tell me your name, caller? I'm Dr. Sullivan. Uh, Virginia. Sorry. Virginia. Take some deep breaths, Virginia. You're going to be okay. Please don't let me die. I won't. Just calm down. Tell me where you are right now. What's your address? I'm... I'm... Oh, God. Maybe you can hide in your house? He'll find me. I know he'll find me. Is there a neighbor you can call for help? No. Everyone's away tonight. There's just a fraternity down the street. You live by a frat house? Yes. They're having a party. That takeout coming in all night. Lawn covered in beer cans. They're getting wasted. And I'm about to get... Oh, God. Virginia, what's the name of the frat? Any idea what the frat might be, Peggy? If I knew where she was, I might know, but... Wait, the takeout! If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them to go and help. Virginia, who did they order takeout from? I don't know. Don't be a child. Wow. Come on, Virginia. Try to remember. Well, folks, seems like our Virginia hung up. While we try to figure out what takeout to order, here's some music for your own midnight snacks. I already played yet. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. Peggy, what places do takeout in Gallows Creek? Off the top of my head? Uh, well... There's the barbecue place, grilling spree, and you can order from Chalupa Cabras. <laughs> oh, and of course we have Ponte's Pizza. That's it, I think. All right. We'll call each place and ask who they deliver to tonight. That's not going to work. Take out client privilege. What? There was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. It's a long story. But what we can do is this. We figure out where the frat boys ordered from, call the takeout pretending to be from the frat, place an order, and include a note asking them to call the station. <sighs> There's no other way, is there? Not that I can see. Well, I hate this town. Don't waste any time then. That's the spirit. You got any suggestions on where to look? Check the offices for anything food related, and maybe the kitchen downstairs. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. God, where to start? What would make me order from somewhere if I were a partying frat boy? We have a food critic, right? Chad or Brad or... Uh... <sighs> I just have to look around. Yeah, you will. Maybe pick up this key. Staff area now. Actually, that's good. kitchen area. Maybe there's going to be some takeout menu somewhere. Hey, 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 hey. Hmm. These makes me nervous at times. I felt like there was always going to be jump scares. <laughs> 
Poor Candy. Rooting through trash. This is a new low. Ooh. One free beer for every point that Gallus High effort. wins by two. Wonder how well Gallus wow. High performed. We know how well they performed because there's fucking newspapers everywhere about it. Go Gallus High, I guess. Nice. New music to play. Hmm. Out of order, check back with me tomorrow. Boo. The future is now. Mm. Find clues to what the frat pair may have ordered from. I mean. Where else can I possibly get information here? Not, not that. Need the key. Most of the shit needs fucking keys. Locked tight. Fuck. I'm not getting in there tonight. Bim bam. Wait forever. Lock for now. Okay. Hmm. Everything else is pretty fucking locked. I don't think there's any more stuff to determine from here. Wait, that's where it came from. The stairs. Oh, that the stairs, the thing here. God, you owe me five bucks for the festival tickets? With that fucking breakup? God. hell bold and brash more like belongs in the trash I have a bold and brash artwork on the table behind me. <laughs> Very nice. 
Interns do it for free. My word. I, I guess we'll just pretend that we're good to go. We have a bold and brash hung up in our living room. <laughs> What's up, Laser? Hope you're doing well. Uh, I don't think there's any more, uh... And that's it. Hey, find anything useful? Yes, I have. That's great. Are you ready to get back on the line? Let's make the call. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Thank you. Okay, Forrest, what'll it be? <gasps> oh, fuck, I forgot. I had to go look again. I, I forgot. Fuck, I don't remember who it was. Oh, no. We know it's Ponty's. He called it and mentioned he had the beer and all that. Yeah, Ponty's Pizza. Call Ponty's Pizza. You got it. Ponty's Pizza is on mm. the line. <laughs> Ponty's Pizza. May I take your order? Fratman calling. We're in major need of foods for dudes. Uh, may I take your order? Garlic bread. I need some garlic bread. Oh, I need the bread. Can do. Where do you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know. The frat house. Got it. And we'll have that over to you right away. Oh, and, and one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? KFAM? Oh, consider it done. The folks at KFAM are huge fans of Ponty's Pizza, you know. I should really call them and let them know. And now we wait. We should put a song on. Agreed. This one goes out to our delivery workers. All right, here's that new one. This is I'm Coming to Get You by Vice. One of the best tunes this year. This it cuts through. <laughs> okay. Which of the takeout places would you order from? To save Virginia? No, wh where would you actually eat? Oh, I mean, they're all pretty equal. You mean equally good? Yeah, not Ponty. He's <laughs> not Ponty. Right. So between grilling spree and chalupa cobbers. I mean, it depends. Do I want a plate full of meat, or do I want really, really good nachos? It can change depending on the day, you know. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, maybe I hold that thought, Forrest. We've got a call coming in. Forrest trying to bust a move. Holy fuck. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Hey, hey, hey. this is Fredman Bunker. We got some garlic bread and a note to call this number. <laughs> yes. Bunker, this is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. And is this Goose? <laughs> oh, man. It's so you, isn't it, Goose? <laughs> this 
Plunker, this is an emergency. I. Nice try, Goose. I may be drunk, but I'm no fool. Uh, listen, I need you to. Goose, come get beer. Your brother is awaiting for you. I'm not Goose. I. Uh, how can I prove this to you? Oh, let me get a second opinion on this. Norman the Barbarian. What do you think? Wait, really? What? The flow? Norman the Barbarian demands it. Okay, okay. I'll play the damn song. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, Radio Man. You got my attention. What is it? Thank God. Listen, you've got to get over to your Small house. town. All of you, just... Say no more. Clunker's moving the house. Forest, line two. Hello, you're live on 189.16, the screen. AKA 911. It's the killer. He's at the door. Please. Oh my god, it's, it's you, isn't it? God, I didn't talk, I promise. Video killed the radio star. Video killed the radio star in my mind and in my car. We can't rewind. We've gone too far. Oh, a a a o o a a a o. And thank you to Plunker and his fraternity brothers. Welcome in, Satan. Some heroes wear capes. Some wear sheets as togas. Hey, Forrest. Did you hear what Virginia said earlier? What was that all about, Clive? I didn't talk. Do you know what she meant? There's a janitor here at the station named Clive, but your guess is as good as mine. All right, folks. Seems we may have a lead. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. It could save lives. In the meantime, looks like we have another caller. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. As a local small business owner, oh, I find this all horrifying. All horrifying. The killer roaming the streets of our fair town. If Tree's here, this sounds, it's just MKW calling in. There. It's a scary time for everyone in Gallows Creek. How are you holding up? Playing for my house late five time. hours, but otherwise I'm good. Yes, How about yourself? Forrest, Oof. I am. I'm here at work. I'm glad you're home. Small business. Safe, family friendly place. You sure are up late. I guess you must love the work. Oh, I sure do. You know, we're at it all day, every day. And that includes major holidays we've got coming up, like Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. Oh, it's my life. You must really, really love your work. Oh, I do. My small business really is my whole world. What's your small business? Oh, well, I'm not really big on promotion, but uh, since you ask, <laughs> it's Archie's Pizza, the best and only pizza place in town. Come on down and get yourself a cracking deal on our two for one. God damn it, Ponty, no! No free ads! <sighs> I mean, I guess we can't be that mad at him. Colin yeah, Ponty's did say Virginia. I can be mad, Peggy. That sort of thing just. Uh, I can be mad. Look, he's gone now. We already have somebody else on the line. Okay. Just take a deep breath and let's keep going. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash. Host of 189.16, The Scream. 
And tonight's 911 stand in. Hi. Hello? Am I on air? Oh sure. boy. Caller, what's your name? And what have you got for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein. And I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. I'm hanging out in You're the middle of the murder Bay Virginia space, night? Oh god. Listening to your show. Looking up at the stars and waiting for her. You got a special lady coming out to see you. Yeah. Molly. We planned to get lost in the maze maze tonight. To take our first journey together into the love labyrinth. The love labyrinth. That's why I'm calling, actually. I, I thought she'd be here an hour ago. And since I've listened all night to how cool you play it, I thought you were the perfect guy to ask. Should I call her up and ask if she's coming or wait and see? For real, kid? If you've been listening all night, do you really need to ask me? Yes, that's why I'm calling. Go home to your fucking parents. Eugene, you really need to go home to your parents. My parents are dead, actually. But, uh... Oh, jeez. Everyone's parents yeah, are dead. I guess it's not the night. Hang on. I hear some rustling. I guess she came after all. Molly! I'm in the middle! Oh, boy. It'll take a little while to get here, but, uh... Thanks again, Forrest. It's been good talking. Oh, wait a second. Molly can't whistle. No, no! This is supposed to be the best night of my life! Not the worst! Fuck, Eugene. Eugene, do you know the way out? It wouldn't be the maze maze if he could just remember the way, Forrest. Wow, Peggy. She's right! I... Listen, Eugene. Breathe. Hide and call back in a minute. We'll get you out. I. I'll do it for Molly. Oh, okay. But please hurry. Well, listeners, while Peggy and I deliberate, here's a track for all you lovers out there. Now it's time to go with the flow, and this is their hit. Crying for help. <laughs> How the hell am I supposed to get in through the maze maze? You know, Barbara, our receptionist, she's a maze maze fanatic. Shame she isn't here. I was supposed to go with her last week, but she changed her mind. Why'd she change her mind? She went with that jerk Brad instead. That jerk. Does everyone in Gallows Creek go on dates in the maze maze? A lot of folks do. <laughs> there's something nice about getting lost, I guess. And besides, there's not much else to do here. Maybe we should call Barbara then? If she's so big on the maze maze. We could, but I don't actually know her number. But she probably has maze maze stuff somewhere. Go and see what you can find. That'll hopefully be enough. Uh, which one is Barbara again? Barbara, you thunder know Barbara. outside right now? Holy shit. Uh, Forrest, I've seen you speak to her. Help me out, Peggy. She's the receptionist. Sits at reception. Never does any work because she's talking to Brad all day. Ring any bells? Right, yeah. Sorry, I guess it's just the stress of... No excuses. Just go and find something to help us. Jesus Christ. Peggy's getting a little aggro over here. All right. Bingo. Here's what I was looking for. Can't wait to walk this dude through a fucking maze. Yeah, I found a map for the maze maze in the trash. Why was it in the trash? Uh, never mind. It doesn't matter <laughs> right now. 
That's a question for Barbara later. Eugene called while you were away. He's on line one. Time to turn the music off. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. I hope you lovers like that track. And I hope we can help our lover in the maze maze. Thank you a bit much sometimes. I called her a bitch multiple times. Jesus. I lost Forrest. I just ran and I, I don't know where I am. I'm at a crossroad facing a tractor statue. There are Number one. Gold hay bales to his right. Okay, so we're right here at this intersection. And he's looking this way. So how do we get out from here is the question. So it's not this way, not this way. Oh, this all wraps around somewhere, doesn't it? Oh, all the way down over here. DJ voice actor sounds very familiar. This is some Borderlands Telltale game shiz. Yeah, I was gonna say the uh, very similar graphics. It's the honest trailer guy. That'd be pretty funny. So. Gonna go up this way. Yeah. So for him, he's gonna want to take a left. Go left. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, I went left, then tried a right. I have a pig statue in front of me. And a creepy rocking horse on my left. Okay, so he's looking again to the right, towards number three. Rocking horse to his left. That's okay, so that's that way. So again, we need to go backwards at this point. Go backwards. Oh, I was gonna go left here. Go left. Oh, this wasn't how tonight was meant to go. I just wanted some love. Some love. Oh, uh, there's a tiny barn in front of me, and a scarecrow behind me. Eight and six. The barn ahead of him, barn ahead, so eight is ahead, six is behind. I can't really see. Barn ahead, which is eight. Okay, so he has to go to the right. Yeah. Go right. To the right. Go right. Actor Josh Cowdery, he was in Agents of Shield and Fantastic Beasts. Interesting. And my bike's still here. Run, Eugene, run. My breath the whole time. I think it went pretty well, all told. <laughs> I think you're right. By the way, 
Why do you think Molly missed their date? Child of the corn maze. Oh my god. Unfortunately, I killed this guy because I didn't know I where the exit was. Oh. It was at the top. There's an up arrow and a down arrow. Damn. And thank you for calling in, Mr. Walton. We'll make sure to add the town librarian to our list of suspicious Clives. Remember, report a Clive to stay alive. <laughs> Next caller is up, Forrest, so take it away. Caller, you're through to Forrest Nash on 189.16, The Scream. The Scream. Hey. Wonderful show tonight, Forrest. Well, that's kind of you to say. Thank you. What's your name, Collar? Uh, you can call me Don. Could you play my tune, Forrest? Your tune? Sure. Long Ride Home. That old song? Sure. We got it. I think I played it the other day. Thanks. It'll be good to hear it again. All right, folks. Coming up is that old classic. Uh, Forrest, I don't think you're gonna find that song. What do you mean? I played it a few nights ago. I know, but, uh, we don't have it anymore. What are you talking about? I threw it away. You threw it in the trash? No, I... Uh, I threw it out the window <laughs> earlier today. <laughs> Maggie, that's a bit extreme, isn't it? Brad was annoying me all afternoon. He played it on repeat because he knows I don't like it. What a dick. So I grabbed it and threw it right out of one of the office windows. Not my finest hour, but I can only take so much. Now she's gonna make me go outside. All right. So, uh, what do we do instead then? Let's just play a different song. We've got more important things to think about anyway. Gotcha. Okay, folks. Here comes some unrequested music. Sorry about that, Don. Maybe try again tomorrow night. Sorry. Of all the songs to request, why'd it have to be that one? Gee, Peggy, what did the barn finds ever do to you? <laughs> Wrote that song for one. It gets real old when you're forced to listen to it on repeat for years. <sighs> Why couldn't they just request Roddy? Oh, Forrest, scrap the song. We have another caller. Sorry to cut the music short, folks. Callers take priority tonight. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest Nat. Forrest. Oh, thank God. It's me again. Murphy. Murphy. Mr. Dojo. Talk to me, Murphy. What's wrong? Oh, the killer got me, man. I... Uh, why did I ever trust a guy named Master... Master Robbie. Robbie, son of a bitch. I warned you not to... Hindsight is 2020, okay? Forrest, we need to do something. Goddamn place of You came to the gallows waste disposal plant. Beat on me, man. Carry me inside and lock me in a dumpster. In a dumpster? I got a flashlight, but... Oh, oh, goddamn. I smell smoke. Yikes. I think he started a fire. Hold on, Murphy. We'll call for help right now. You gotta hurry, man. I need someone here now or... I'm gonna die! Peggy, get the fire department on the line. On it. All right. Now just... Come on, pick up. Hi. Yes, I'd like to report go. a fire over at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. It's an emergency. What do you mean it's not operational? Why is there no backup vehicle? You know what? He... Oh, God damn it! Forrest, that evil son of a bitch slashed the tires on the town's only fire engine. Oh, they my God. But I have a few friends who live nearby. Maybe one of them can save Murphy. Where do they live? My friend Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield and Romero Street. And Catherine lives on the west end of Myers Lane. And there's Jericho on the east end of Myers Lane. 
But he's... old. Really old. Okay, I'll check the map, see who would be best to do this. I wish I was listening a bit closer to that. Uh, so let's see. We need to find... Here's waste disposal. Oh, God. Traffic notice. East side McCree Street will be closed from 2nd to 9th to turn for maintenance. Residents will be unable to access the connecting road between Rogers Avenue and Haddonfield Road. Thank you for your patience. Oh, God. Oh, thank you, Fruit Sand. Welcome in. See, so, yeah, I'm I'm not too sure. Oh, it's right here. Oh my God, Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield Road, right next to Romero Street. But this says residents will be unable to access the connecting road between Rogers Avenue. Rogers Avenue. Haddonfield Road. Oh, so McCready Street is off. That's what they're trying to say. Because otherwise it's Romero Street or Peel Street they're talking about. Oh, east side of McCready Street will be closed from 2nd to 10th. Right, okay, cool. So the east side of it's closed down. Got it. So Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield Road right next to Romero Street, which is here. So that's not too bad. Catherine lives at the west end of Myers Lane. Could make it. Old Man Jericho lives at the east end of Myers Lane, but he's old. Yeah, fuck that. I'm not calling him. Fire Department, get more fire engines. Uh, yeah, hope you're doing well, Fruit Sand. Been a minute. Happy to have you back, of course. So I'm trying to... I'm just confused. West End of Myers. Myers, yeah, okay. East End. Okay. Hmm. So it's a tough call to make. I definitely say we don't do old man. And I feel like Catherine would have to take too many turns. Either backtrack to Rogers, go up to Peel, and then all the other right. <sighs> Excuse me. Or go all the way past my go all the way down Myers Lane, left onto Carpenter Avenue, run to Peel, and then you get Gail. So yeah, I, I just think I think Alex is the one to go with here. Alright, Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? 
fuck. Alex, okay. Call Alex. All right, give me a second. Come on. They're on the way. They'll call from the plant. You can direct them from there. Well, let's hope they get there in time. Oof. I feel like this is a good thing, but I'm not entirely certain. Forrest, I'm getting a call. Are you sure you can't? What's happening, Peggy? Alex was too far away, too slow. The plant burned down, it collapsed. So Murphy is... Poor Fernando is gonna be crushed. No. It was too far away? Bro, it was a straight shot. Wait. That's Deer Fall Welcome Center to we go that way. It's a train station. I'm so confused. Why would they... Th They'd think that this is a better idea to have the old guy go, or her, which is, I mean... I'm not too sure about that call there. That, I mean, we don't even know where the fucking door is here. Like, this is, the blue is what, water coming through? Doesn't really say for sure. That could be, like, water, garbage waste, supposedly. Yellow is the train, which no one is near a train. And this is like a path for Deer Fall Woodlands. So like, yeah, you'd have to travel there. It's a straight shot. I don't, I don't like that call. Yeah, Fernando will be crushed. Just like oh, shit. Dad. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> poor kid. Forrest, that, I wasn't trying to set you up for a punchline. No, I know. Ugh. I didn't mean to do that one. <laughs> Murphy, I promise we will stop this. For you and for Fernando. Peggy, it's going to be our. Forrest, we have another caller. Let's not waste time. Oopsie daisy. All right, folks. Another of our good citizens is on the line. Let's see what they have to say. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream, with the me, your scream. host, Forrest Nash. Forrest, Teddy Gallows Jr. here. Uh-oh. I just want to say that my thoughts and prayers are with my Gallows Creek neighbors during this awful time. Oh, it's mayoral candidate and scion of the town founders, Mr. Gallows. Are you in danger? I didn't do a murder. It is kind order. of a horror game. More like a... Cops who More like have a thriller. The tools and funding they need to keep us safe. Okay, Teddy. We. I know you're an outsider to our little town here, Forrest. But you're really stepping up the bat for us all tonight. I just want to say thank you for taking a swing for Gallows Creek. Jackass. <laughs> Uh, right. Thanks, Teddy. Now, are you... Teddy, you lowlife! This is not the time to promote your damn campaign! I just want to make sure our town is safe and prosperous. That's why the Gallows Family Factory, founded by my father, Theodore C. Gallows, God rest his soul, which employs over 200... Teddy, unless <sighs> you've got an emergency, I'm cutting you off. You know what? I do have a problem. You know what? A problem that's ruining Oh my god, our hang town. up. Hang up. You know what it is? Emergency, not problem. The whistling man is waste plant burned.
Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, your ship burnt down, dude. Your family waste plant just burned down, so now we have nowhere to dump our garbage? The problem is that woman, our current mayor, Linda Cartwright. Oh, here we go. She just isn't one of us. Linda Cartwright is un-American, unstable, and... You're not better than anyone, Teddy. Just because you inherited half the town, it... Your producer sounds a little unstable, too. Don't you dare speak to me that way. Cut him off, Peggy. I can guarantee this kind of thing will not happen when I take office. The moral decay of... And that's enough of <laughs> Teddy Gallows Jr. for one lifetime. I always feel disgusting after hearing him talk. Just play an ad for us? I need a minute. We'll be right back after these messages. Master Robbie. Yeah, put this one on. The world famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival is back! We got it all out on Giblet Field. We got the Little Miss Harvest Pageant, Princess Harvest Pageant, Harvest Queen Pageant, Cotton Candy, Corn Dogs, Cornhole, Corn on the Cob, Crokinole, Country Music, Can Jam, Jams, Jellies, Jamborees, Juggling, Roller Rickies, Roller Disco Lessons, Praying. We got baby crawling, balloon popping, balloons for sale, beard contest, horseshoes, hay ride, hay toss, hey you there, safe donkeys and ponies, safe donkeys and ponies, fireworks, funnel cakes, fried dough, sheets, bitten sandwiches. Okay, so I'm having a good time with the thunder. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty rough right now. And fake tattoo face paint and puppets, petting zoo, amazing maze maze, square dance and story swapping, spelling bee, quilting bee, and sewing circle, pie eating, lawnmower racing, hot dog eating contest, flower yeah. contest, and flower contest, face, gourd measure off. The festival measure my gourd. By Linda Cartwright, sponsored by Gallows and Sons Factory, and dedicated to the memory of Garrett Miley, tragically taken from us last festival. I can see why it's world famous. It's <laughs> a highlight around here, Forrest. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, Peggy. All right, folks, welcome back to the show. We have a note from my producer. That's right. Come find me at the Harvest Festival tomorrow to grab your choice of a KFAM mug, sticker set, or poster. Let's see what our next caller would choose. Caller on line one. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Yo, Trakers, welcome back. Uh, hello, caller. Who is this? I need the police. That's I'm us. Forrest Nash. I, <clears throat> I'm standing in for 911 tonight. What, what's wrong? There's a guy hunting me and my friends. I, I think he's killed some of them already. I can see him from up here. Yeah. Damn it. She's just a kid. Where are you? Are, are you somewhere safe? Oh my god. Oh my god. You stay with me, kid. Focus. I, I can't do this. Yes, you Fuck. can. Focus. Tell me. What's your name? <sighs> Sweetie, you can do it. What's your name? Good, good. Carrie, listen to me. We're gonna get you out of there, all right? Now, where are you? The old murder house. Upstairs. I'm at the end of a hall. There's, there's a bathroom, a couple bedrooms, a closet. Oh, he's coming. Where should I go? Hmm. <sighs> Fuck. Uh, the closet, I guess. Go to the closet. Okay, I'll. He's here. He's here. He's 
Shut the fuck up. Horace, I don't think we can. Don't move. Maybe she should have ran. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What was I supposed to do with that one? Pretending to be the whistling man. Dick. That's it. I'm out of here. Jimmy, everyone, it's really not safe to be out. Please, go home. And waste whistling night? <laughs> no way. That little idiot. Whistling night? It's a stupid tradition. Especially stupid since that one kid died back in. Would you take off that stupid mask if it's hard to breathe? Who's under there anyway? Hmm? Uh oh. Seth? Idiot! Seth is right next to you. That's. Uh, uh oh. Uh. Wait. Oh no. Who, uh. Who are you? Oh no, man! Bye, Jimmy. I'm not saying anything. Dude's gonna die. Yeah. You bought time, but not much. Forrest, we have to. Heather, I already called the cops. Forrest picked up. He's the best we're gonna get. Who is with you, Carrie? My friend. We drove out to the old murder house and. Oh, Jimmy course. deserved it. The van. Who's got the keys? Jimmy had them. Fuck. Oh, Jimmy. Oh. I'm sorry about Jimmy. Thank you. This is crazy forest. We'll figure something out. Between all of you, there's got to be a way to beat this. Just sit tight, okay? Heather, shut up. If we do that, we're gonna get killed. <sighs> if only Jeannie were here. Jeannie? Jeannie McPherson? Our intern Jeannie? Yes. She's my best friend and the smartest one out of all of us. She stayed in tonight. Forrest, listen. Smart. <laughs> we'll see what we can come up with and, uh... What? Scott, you're not any good at... And... No, no, Chad. <laughs> Out of all of us, you're not the one to... Oh. Everything okay? No. We... Uh, we're figuring out a plan. But everyone's volunteering to do things they're just bad at. I think we can figure out what to do. But I don't think we can agree on who should do what. I think you'll have to be the tiebreaker. Right. Or else these idiots are going to get us killed. But I... Shut up, you... Oh. Forrest, I'll call you back. And I don't know anything about your friends. <laughs> Ugh, these damn kids never learn. Are you okay? Ugh, they do this kind of thing every year, Forrest. People get hurt. All right, <clears throat> folks. We're going to work out a way to save Carrie and her friends. This next one goes out to all the trapped kids out there. <laughs> That wasn't a good one. Hey, 
Enjoy this classic by Smooth. It's their hit song, The Word. Peggy, you mentioned something about their friend working here? An intern? Yeah, Jeannie. Seems a nice enough girl, but a bit head in the clouds, you know? Not sure why we took on an intern. We really didn't have the office space for one. Poor thing got tucked away in a dark corner somewhere downstairs, I heard. All right, I'll go see if I can find her desk. Hopefully she has something we can use. Peggy said her desk is downstairs. Oh yeah, what's the name again? Sorry. Jeannie's desk. Okay, Jeannie downstairs. Here we go. Sorry, I was busy uh, tossing crumbles of paper. This has to be genius, yeah. Tuck Genie away. Okay. Friendship quiz. This might work. Oh, whoops. I'm like, what the fuck? Hey, you find anything that'll help us out? Yeah, I found a friendship quiz with all these kids on it. If you think that'll help, then good enough. Carries on line one. Whenever you're ready. All right. Okay, Forrest. Shut the music off. All right. This is Forrest Nash, back again with an unlucky caller on this unlucky night. Carrie, are you there? Yes. We've got a plan, but we can't agree on who should do what. You want me to be the tiebreaker? Exactly. I'm ready. What's the first step? Okay. First things first. We'll need a spotter. Someone who can keep an eye on the killer. We'll need someone on the roof. It's gonna be a hard climb. We're just hard climb? Together, Everest. And hot David. Well, that's Heather. Because. The Olympic athlete is a close second. But that's also a tie. Go karting? No. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Heather. Heather's got this. Yes, Heather, he picked you. Now please, stop talking about all your cheerleading trophies. Part two, the whistling man padlocked the gate back to the road. Before we drive out of here, we need someone to pick the lock. Seth, Jennifer, and Scott all want to do it. Pick a lock, huh? So that's probably not a, uh, escape a prison would be Jennifer. Oscar, we have a go karting. Looks like a trip. I end up in a car crash. Yeah, no. So this is escape prison, I'd say, which is Jennifer. Jennifer. Jesus, Jennifer, you carry a bump key? Why didn't you say so earlier? Huh? Anyway, that brings us to part three. Getting the van keys. I'll volunteer for this. I don't know Jimmy as well as you guys, so. It'll probably be easier that way. Then is part four. This is a very detailed plan. I'm I'm impressed. Yeah, it's weirdly easier to think when you're about to die. You're oh, doing great. What's Jesus. The next part? part four. We need someone to lead the whistling man away. We need a fast runner. For this one, we're trying to decide between who was it again? Hot David. Cynthia. And Scott. Okay. Running away. Mm. 
Worst poker face? No. And in prison? No. Escape prison? No. Olympic athlete is a tie. Oscar, be everyone at go karting? I don't know. And it's weird that it's between Cynthia, Hot David, and Scott, because the Olympic one, Cynthia's not there, Scott's not there, it's just Hot David. And maybe that's on purpose. Uh. Fuck. Let me go with Hot David. Hot David. Mmm. You got this, hot David. Hey, Sweet. David. Okay, hot David's so hot right now, yeah. Get the eyes on the roof. A runner distracts the killer while we grab the van keys and pick the lock on the gate. Now the tricky part. The getaway. Ooh. What's the plan there? Well, we can't all outrun the whistling man. But he thinks we're just a bunch of stupid teens. So, let's use that against him. Okay. Part five. We trick the killer into a trap. Someone can pretend to be injured. Who would make the most believable bait? Who you got? We got Lisa, Tammy, and Cynthia. Lisa, Tammy, and Cynthia. Thank you, Fruit. <clears throat> so this is... Acting. Tammy, Lisa, or Cynthia... Tammy and Lisa are both most likely to win an Oscar if it's tied. Most likely to trip while running in a horror movie? Tammy and Lisa aren't even there. Um, oops. Any other Tammy and Lisa's in here? Is it end up in person? No, that's not right. Hmm. Who should use acting to lure the killer in? And why do you think Lisa? Just out of curiosity. Because it's Lisa or Tammy, because they both got two votes for most likely to win an Oscar. Maybe because Lisa also had a vote for most likely to end up in prison. No, it's mostly to end up in prison. Never mind. That's not the same thing. Tammy would. Oh, no. Look at this. Most likely to win the award for worst poker face is Tammy. And Lisa's not in there. I think that's what we're going at. This is what we're going with here, Fruit. Good call. Lisa, it is. Lisa. That should take care of the killer. And then it's time to get out. And Cynthia had the Finally, most votes six, for worst poker face. Someone who could drive us through the woods and back to Gallows Creek alive. Who's our getaway driver? Should it be who have we got? Chad, Scott, Cynthia, uh, whatever. Forrest, you know what to do. Okay. Who should drive the van? Escape prison could be helpful. Oops. Oh, most likely to pass their driving test without any errors is Jimmy. That's pretty uh, obvious, but he's not on the list because he's dead. <laughs> oh, no. God's awful. Most likely to win an Oscar? No. Most likely to beat everyone at a go-karting? No. Running in a horror movie? No. Most likely to end up in a car crash? That's helpful. Scott has the most votes. Cynthia has a vote. Chad does not have a vote at all, so I'm gonna go Chad. Chad. Oh, perfect. Your go-karting experience will be great, Chad. Thanks, Forrest. We'll just take a few seconds. Uh, Chad also has go-karting, yeah. It's go time. Sounds good. Talk to you in a sec. Good luck, Carrie. 
That actually sounded like a pretty good plan. Yeah, whatever you say. I hope you're right. Yeah, let's hope. One eighty nine point sixteen. Oh, the kids are back already. Fuck. One again. If you're just tuning in, we're coming to you live with a bunch of teens about to flee a madman. <laughs> Listener discretion is advised. Are you ready, Carrie? We're good to go, Forrest. Don't die. Good luck. And Godspeed. You got this. Here we go, everyone. Slaughter, to the roof. Go, Heather. She's off and away. All right, Renner. Get ready. Wait for the spotter's signal. Spotter says go. Come on. <gasps> oh, Jimmy. Shh, no. Oh, Don't oh, bother. Grab what you need and run. Please, Carrie, yep. you need to get the van keys. His face is lying next to him for his... Oh. We got God. Oh, God. Grab the fucking keys. Focus. Breathe. Go, go, go. Oh, David should be back any second. Fuck oh, David. Oh, perfect. Oh. I can't believe it's actually working. Let's go. You're doing great. Focus. You got this. We got this. Next step, trap the killer. All right. Wait. Get into position. Hi, David. Else? Hide. Okay, performer. Like your life depends on it. Ah. Oh, there he is. Ah. He's buying it. Ah. 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 Now, push the bookshelf over. Oh, my God, he went through the floor. Damn it. Go, go, go. The damn gate swung shut. Huh? What? It won't stay open. I'll hold it. Oh, Carrie, no. You drive through. Carrie! What was that? Oh my god. Please, no! No! Fuck. How was I supposed to save her? I didn't realize the door was gonna be Harry? like that. <sighs> Fuck. He just He just stared at me. What? Harry? Don't don't ask questions. Just go. Thank God you're okay. Can you? Yo, Wheeler, safe? what's up? What can we do? I can make it home. Yeah, just go, go, Carrie, go. Thank you both for helping. See, just run, we bitch. <laughs> it was your plan, Carrie, and it was a great plan. Hey, I did a good job organizing it. Don't forget, Jeannie. You get home. You get home now, Carrie. Before he changes his mind. Right. I, 
I need to get home. Breathe, Carrie. You're okay now. I'll call you when I'm somewhere safe. Talk to you then. Folks, that was a... That was a lot. Our thoughts go out to Jimmy's parents in this awful time. For any kids listening in, please stay inside and stay safe. And parents, hug your kids extra tight tonight. Here's a song for the girl walking home in the dark. I had to. Not so stupid teens achievement unlocked. Let's go. Hey, we had a call come in. One eighty nine point sixteen. I suppose I should take this call. Forrest Nash here. <laughs> Listeners, we've got another caller live on one eighty nine point sixteen. The scream. What's on your mind, caller? Hey, Forrest. I just wanted to phone in and say that I think I speak for everyone when I say that you're providing a real service for Gallus Creek tonight. Where's so the ah? Well, I'm just doing my job. Well, that's not it. Anyway, tell me about yourself. What's your name? Are you keeping safe tonight? Yeah, man, I'm good, thanks. I'm at my roller rink, trying to get everything ready for the Harvest Festival tomorrow. You go home. I had a guy from what Starling the fuck? Security here earlier installing the Starling 4000 system, so I'm a little behind. As for my name, my friends call me Roller Ricky. Roller Ricky. And I now consider you a friend, my man. We're friends now, huh? Well, that's kind of you to say. Thanks. Yeah, man. Sounds like roller skating is more than just a job to you. So is this vocational? I wasn't always Roller Ricky. Once upon a time, believe it or not, I used to go by just Ricky. No way. Yeah. Back then, things were pretty rough. I used to roll with a bad crowd. Not all bad, but this yeah. mm -hmm. one guy. Anyway, uh, some bad stuff went down. I harbored a lot of guilt for a long time and turned to the bottle. I didn't really talk about it or, or even know how to talk. It's just how it was. That bottle took the best years of my life. Or so I thought. It's never too late, Roller Ricky. Almost lost the hot sauce there. <laughs> I joined a support group. I opened up about my problems. And sharing that burden just took so much weight off. It's a long story from there, but I found Roller Disco. I We're like rolling Ricky, again. am I right? Oh my god. Shapes. Rolling rock for key. <laughs> yes. I'm finally free from it all, man. It's important just to talk to somebody. That's the first step. Ain't that right, Max? <laughs> Don't do this to me. Hello, Max. <laughs> Night Fry. I hope you get some lovely sleep this evening. He's a good boy. Oh, well, he certainly sounds like a good boy. Max is my emotional support dog. About out here he's too. Well, appreciate you dropping yeah, in, Wheeler. He's the one that rescued me. He's the best dog a guy could ask for. Of course, the first thing I did was teach him how to skate. He's better than me now, a real pro. Max can skate. Yeah, man. At first they said it couldn't be done, and then they said it shouldn't be done. <laughs> but Maxie loves the rink, man. <laughs> Oh, whoa, whoa. Is that another train, Maxie? Maxie loves trains, man. He's even got that special house. Yeah, where's the rink? Roller Ricky's right here. And there's the train coming through. Great appearance of special boy. Neighbors must love it. Uh, it sounds like you two make a great pair. Uh, Maxie appreciates all the positivity you're throwing out, my man. You know, I'm actually hosting free skating lessons tomorrow at the festival. I think it's a great opportunity to give back to the community. Man, all this talk of skating has got me itching for a boogie. Yeah, I Before bet I switch it my does. Off for the night, could I request a song for us? Something I can groove to, you know, something funky. It'll be me and Maxie's final boogie breakdown tonight. Then I think we'll take it down a level. I can do that. Thanks again for calling. You and Max. Be safe now, okay? Bye, Maxie. Oh, you got it, man. Peace. Something groovy. Well, folks, this next one goes out to Roller Ricky and Max. Enjoy.
What the fuck? <laughs> God damn it, Scary. That was fantastic. Fantastic timing. <laughs> Let's give him the flow. Play a record for us. Shut the fuck up. You're gonna love this next track. I really needed that call, you know? After everything. Yeah, I get that. He talked a bit much for my taste, but and thank you for the bit, Scaredy. <laughs> come back from the brink like that. Yeah, that, that's what I meant. <sighs> you Why is Peggy so freaking snappy case, sometimes? Well, she's uh, the, the toxic positivity Another is high with line. this one. What are the odds? Better take it. When you're ready, shut yeah, the music yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Welcome back to 189.16, The, the scream. scream. This is Forrest Nash. How are you tonight, caller? I'm doing okay. I made it home safe. Carrie. Hey, I I just wanted to thank you for doing what you could. All these there. thanks are so nice. You know, even though we lost Jimmy. Well, Jimmy was a turd, so. I don't know. Hey, it's okay. You were <laughs> so brave earlier. You're safe now. Creepy. Oh, What's up? Asked. Welcome in, friend. Why he didn't? Why am I? Why what, Carrie? Why did he spare me? The planet's a better place now. <laughs> what he did? Why let me go? He wanted the pranksters. Maybe he only wanted to hurt the pranksters. I. Maybe. Oh, this thanks nice until they are screaming, did getting murdered. True. Was making fun of him? Did he always hate these hazing rituals? I, I mean, if he did, why wait all these years to? Why do this now? Because it's a These copycat. These stupid hazing nights have to stop. Carrie, you did so well tonight. Stay safe and rest. Help is coming to Gallows Creek. We just need to hold on. Thanks, Peggy. Hey, Forrest? Yeah. Could I request a song? Of, of course. course. Which one? What song? Any song by Blast Processor. And... Well... Thank you. This next one goes out to Carrie. You know, what Carrie just said has really got me thinking. About what? The whistling man left her alone. Why? There must be a reason. When it comes to masked whistling killers, I don't think a reason is a key part of their process. That's fair. Well, it's something to consider. I need to take a break. If you want to stretch your legs, now's the time. Just hit the Peggy button when you want to get back on air. Let's go take a walk. Because there's another tape ex that exists somewhere. I don't need that. Get out of here. That's not opening. Boom, boom, boom. Trying to be up in a panic attack to Grant helped him. Oh, jeez. Well, I hope he's okay, Fruit. Please don't apologize for obviously putting someone's health forward. <laughs> that Peggy trying to enjoy the music. Oh, God. You need to call Hank to come get his wife, Peggy. <laughs> now we're going to find out why she goes by Peggy by the end of this game, I bet. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think in these offices, I don't fucking remember. Unless that other cassette that I found was in here and I was just dumb and didn't touch it. Oh, right there. That's an ad. Oh, the car theft mag. Yeah, we already did that. Okay. He thought he was doing something wrong, but I caught him down in time. Oh, good. Yeah, no one wants to have to go through something like that. Fucking anxiety sucks. Let's 
get going, Peggy. Alrighty, we could run another segment or... Scratch that for us. We have a caller. You're through to 189.16, The Scream. What's your emergency? Hello again, Forrest. Oh, that call with the teens was awful. Those poor kids. Still, I'm, I'm glad the girl didn't get hurt. Thanks for your concern. Are you in trouble? What's on your mind? I wanted to ask you again to play my song, Forrest. You said you were going to play it. Oh, Peggy. fuck. Your name was Dawn, right? What, Peggy? Yes. Oh, well remembered. My name is Dawn. And trying I to sleep to now? Ask Good. You again to play my tune, Forrest. Long Ride Home? You know, the one that Peggy said she threw outside the window? I'll be nice. You must love it. You must really love that song. If you're calling up to ask for it when you know we don't have it. Well, I, I do love it. And I don't want to argue, but... Play Misty for it. me, Forrest. Just, just Old movie reference. <laughs> There's a serial killer on the loose. I can't just go outside hunting for a record. I'm really sorry, Don. But we just can't get it right now. But wasn't the whistling man just at the old murder house that Miles from the station. It won't take you a second to grab it. Sounds way too sketch. Try again tomorrow. Let's back tomorrow when this is all over, Don. Uh, and I'll gladly play it for you then. No, no, that won't do. Don't worry. I think I can bring you around. <laughs> wow, <Forest>. laser. <laughs> I'm calling with more than a request. I know something. Sorry. I think I know who's gonna be next. What? Are you serious? Play my song, Forrest, and you'll find out. It's like a caring partner. Well done, for sure. <sighs> well, folks, here's some music for you while I think things over. Is she serious, Peggy? She's serious about hearing that song, that's for sure. Peggy, I mean, is she serious about? <laughs> I don't know, Forrest. But to keep we allowing don't really you. have a choice, do we? If she's telling the truth, well, you go. What if she is the killer? You know what I mean? Like that'd be pretty fucked up. I'd send her out. Rude. Don't care. It's like, yeah, I just... It, it sounds like it's bait. So I'm gonna go with I don't care. I want my song and I want it now. I don't care. I don't want to go out there. Forrest, someone might be in danger. And despite your being so damn curmudgeonly, I think you... Stop it, Peggy. Just... I'll go. You're a good man, Forrest. Yeah, I'll slide you the fuck key to the you. fire door. Wait, wait. Our fire door has to be unlocked? Yeah, it. Uh, you know, I never thought about it. But, yeah. We should talk to Reggie about that later. Look, Peggy, you started all this shit. <laughs> down while you're out. Maybe I'll even get a caller. That could be exciting. 189.16. The screw. With me, Peggy. All because we had to do a scream. Alright, this must be the fire door. Locked tight. Or not. Oh, maybe it's in the past the office. Or not. Fuck. Laser racer. <laughs> the bitch. <laughs> I 
Oh, that's not it. Oh, I see play for do oh, okay. So there's a back door thing. Okay. I was thinking like like a fire escape, like up stairs. Spelled laser wrong. But to die, no cap. It's, <laughs> it's already all opened. I think it's that. Oh, fuck. You know, I hope she'll be happy when I'm brutally murdered by the whistling man. Out here. In the open. Alone. Which fucking window did she throw it out of? Fucking bitch. Totally not a killer on the loose. Yeah. Fuck, those papers scared the fuck out of me. Fuck. Here it is. Long ride home. Seventy. Oh, we're gonna have to replace the uh uses. I knew those fuses back there were for some threat some fucking run motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, if only there was a sprint button in this game. I can only grab one at a time. What the fuck? And I can't sprint. But, uh... So my guess is this is supposed to equal 70. So that's 5. I don't know if it necessarily matters where we put it. It's 820, so that's 25. Fucking breathing. Remy! Yo, welcome in, friendo. What is up? Bay's here. What's there's Remy? Oh, Mustache Mickey's here. What's up, Mickey? Oh, Mickey, you're so fine. Who's everybody? What are we playing today, Remy? So there's five. And then the mouse trap. Welcome, Randy. Please click the link for your view to count. Is that true? System shock? Yo, like the new one? How is that? So this is 25 and 30 is 55. I need 15. Oh, we only can take the five out. Mm, I don't know, I gotta get the other ones. What link? <laughs> I'm not too sure. But yeah, we're, um, we're play, uh, playing Killer Frequency, and we're uh, like a radio host slash DJ, and uh, 
Things be getting mighty scary as there's a serial killer on the loose. For some reason, I was in charge of getting the, uh... The old record. That my producer threw out the fucking window. Not me. Yeah, remake, I'm loving it. Awesome. The chat for the referral raid URL. This is the first time I've heard that actually that Raiders views won't count unless they refresh it to getting to the next stream. I don't know if it's actually true. I'm going to pick up the original and play it again. That'd be pretty sick. Aha. Uh -huh. A at 15. I think that's the one we that's what we're gonna need. Hey Trakers, welcome back again. Great loving system shock. Yeah, it's so good. I'm glad that I'm glad people are enjoying that. It was, it was trying to come out for a while. Okay. So this is fifty that's seventy-five. Fuck. Okay. Um, let's do this. So that's now 45. 50, 90 to 20. Uh, nope, wrong one. Bingo! You can access the station after being locked out. I mean, I didn't even mean to do that. Like, I mean, I... I'm glad I found a way in without even having to figure that out. I could probably survive that fall. Alright, now how do I sh shut? Now there's an opening. Looks like the janitor's closet. What did Peggy say his name was? Clive? Uh... Twitch is so many things to remember, to be honest. It's just weird that I don't think I've ever seen that before. Ooh! Fucking mannequins, man. What the hell? Peggy is not gonna believe this. Fucking creepy. Look at the arms pointing at it. Or I touch that. Oh, so disaster. Big wheel breaks free. 15 injured. Who is to blame? That was in 72. There's one Chuck Brody. Probably should help Chuck Brody. Kim Walker, for thought. If Blue shot ASAP. Okay. Rebecca Al, I don't know who that is. Aunt Williams. Staffs staff search at power station. Twenty new staff in record hire, twelve of which were students from Gallows, Gallows Creek High. Hmm. The janitor is the killer? <laughs> killer was heart disease all along. <laughs> Kim Walker and Peter Stein. 30th of May. Justice for festival victims. Gonna buy uh hmm. the yearly convention on health and safety. What are your picks of Peggy then? Yeah, I don't know. Beep, beep, look out, tragedy. 
brakes fail on a bus? <sighs> Excuse me. Is your car safe? Twenty-four hour gas station bought by local ex lottery winner. It will keep you busy on an evening. He has to remain anonymous. What the fuck? Local legend takes to Manhattan. Interesting. Today? That's why I want to create a new streaming platform that's way better, but it would never survive. The problem is the funding. That's where it gets you. It's expensive. You do. Can I be your ambassador? Of course. Yeah, obviously. I think that comes with the territory. Fuck, this is weird. Huh. There's a key. Basement uh, stairs. Great. Might be important. The yeah, ice laser stimulated emission in the acronym. Also, the fact that I don't know how to do it in the slightest. Maybe your brain just blocked out my stupid message, which would be fair. I didn't mean to fucking do that. Hmm. I wonder how the show's going. Probably fucking great. It's playing music and people calling and like, ah, help me, I'm being stabbed to death. Co games, but websites are way different. That's that's true. Oh hey, I know where we are now. Also, what are we doing? Head back to you. Okay, I'm like we're going back, right? Like we have the record. Whoops. I'll be like, well, my soul goes to Diablo 4. Thank you, Mickey. Appreciate you. Have a lovely time playing some Diablo 4, man. Something did happen. Clive, the janitor, might be Clive, the murderer. What? I'll start from the beginning. The, uh, the fire door got fired. So? That's actually a perfect timing. Why did you heave that thing all the way up here? Uh, because the basement's creepy as hell, and I don't like standing around down there. Fair. All right, let's run through this again. We have a creepy board you found in a creepy basement mm -hmm. made by our creepy janitor, yeah. who you think is the creepy whistling man. Potentially. And on the creepy board are the names Chuck Brody, Kim Walker, Rebecca Allen, and Aunt Williams. Mm -hmm. Correct. And you think one of these people will be the whistling man's Clive's next target. That's right. And we've got to find them. But you said there are four locations listed there, too. The hospital, the power station, the gas station, and the trailer park. But Clive must think the target is at one of those locations. Forrest, you're going to have to figure out if any of the potential targets are at one of these locations tonight. Jeez. Hit the button if you need any help. It's okay, I think people should ignore me more, to be honest. Fuck that, not happening, sorry. Um, I will say though, unfortunately, as much as I'm loving these jams, and uh, this game is very fun, um, it is time to wrap. It is already one in the morning, just about. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be our place to stop for tonight. Damn, I wish I was your DJ. But yeah, this game, this game's fun. 
Um, out of curiosity, how long to play killer frequency? Around five hours to finish. Oh, so we're pretty close then. The start of the game for us. Should come with back around four hours. To happens with around 20 minutes of gameplay. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. Because uh, we we played for well, from 9.30 forward. It's like three and a half hours. Thank you for stream. I finished mine in 6.4 hours. Okay, just murder everyone easy. No. Why would we do that? <laughs> Thank you, thank you all for being here. Appreciate it. Um, God, this fucking this 90s summer jams. All right, I got to hear the chorus. Let me see what's next. Oh, fuck yeah. We gotta figure out who's on. I'm gonna raid out. Hoping you guys can join me in a raid, which would be awesome. Gives you good vibes while being murdered. Yes. <laughs> Why we not do that? Because we're here to save people. Always choose violence. Oh, God. Oh, you know, I just realized... Let me make sure he's actually still on and, and attentive. He's still kicking it. Uh, our dearest friend, Jam Gamer, is in his first ever subathon. Uh, he attempted to start two nights ago. They had hit a bunch of OBS problems, so he moved it to last night. Um, he's been streaming now. Oh, 23 hours and 12 minutes. So just about 24 hours in. You know, can murder Teddy Gallows Jr. That'd be nice. Uh, but yeah, uh, Jam is still streaming. He is having fun with the subathon. The uh, countdown's at four days right now. The poor bastard. It's <laughs> so uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this raid ready to go over to Jam Gamer. If you guys haven't hung up with Jam before, super friendly guy. Love him. He's the master of horror. Uh so when you get there, please do give him a follow if you haven't yet. Also, he's a big part of Channel 13. If you're not already following Channel 13, or excuse me, if you're not already subscribed to Channel 13 on YouTube, it is free. Highly recommend it. Jump scare compilations all over the place. Multiple videos a week. Um, multiple, multiple horror streamers of all different variations. Uh, okay, kicking this puppy off. Nice. Also, while we're at it, uh, if you don't mind. High end by junk. Take High end care. by junk. To care. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Randy Orton. Appreciate you, Arco. <laughs> um, please do grab one of those two uh, raid messages. The top one's for subscribers. It has one of our emotes. For everyone else, um, you can grab the red uh, raid pickaxe line. Uh, and please be sure to follow uh, across all the whatever platforms you have to be using. I am also on YouTube where we upload shorts and VODs. Uh, TikTok's pretty straightforward. Uh, Twitter, I'm also on there. I share a bunch of stuff. I promote other streamers, uh, meme sharing, different announcements, all that type of stuff. Uh, and then Discord is just where we all hang out after stream, essentially. Uh, we have... we organized community games we have watch parties uh we watch wrestling if anyone's into some professional wrestling we do all that nsfw channels i mean question of the day bot there's all sorts of shit all sorts of shit so oh god smash mouth is on now oh god <laughs> anywho uh i might as well have to go walking on the sun that already set now you all go hang out with jim have a great night i'll see you thursday for AEW. see ya